106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Welcome to the Goddamn Podcast with Drew and TJ. Let's get this goddamn thing started. You're goddamn right. Look of, I don't get it. Yeah. He's not convinced <laughs> by your by your uh, excuses there, Dark Matter. God, he is really pondering that, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody's cool. We're glad everybody could make it to the show. Yep, yep. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Goddamn Podcast. Um... Announcements real quick. Uh, we are doing another... We haven't done our patron-only shows for this month yet. We will be doing those. Um, next, they're going to be on Hitbox. And uh, I think after the, the next patron show, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to try an, a regular show on Hitbox and see how you guys like it. So look forward to that. Please do pay attention. Uh, we'll, like, I'm making the announcement now, and I'll be... you know Pay attention to the different links... And I'm sure somebody will come back over Vaughn to let them know they're in the wrong spot if yeah. they are, if people go to the wrong spot. But oh, we'll that's coming up, so pay attention. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully everyone likes it. It, it uh, <laughs> Well, pay attention to the show and see if you like it better than this. We get a lot of complaints about Vaughn, so we're going to try something new. And uh, if it's better, we'll stick with it. Uh, if it's not, well, I guess we'll come right the fuck back here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing... Uh, Nothing crazy. Um, we're all happy to hear that Dark Matter made it out of that gay bar. Yeah, we prayed, and that's, that's the only reason Dark Matter made it out. It was. It took a lot of prayer. Yeah. The uh, the really lucky part was that that Muslim guy took the fall for what I did. Oh, whoa! Jesus Christ! Jesus! I, 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 that deserves the whole fucking kitten caboodle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shaz is getting right up close and personal. Just like, <laughs> I do not approve, sir. Good God. This is terrible. You know, I, I would have thought it was too soon, but you guys pushed me into it. Dude, I'm right. blaming you guys. Yeah, you want to you talk so about Some it. people were ridiculous. DPR, like, because I live in Orlando, if you guys don't know. I, I live here. So even though Dark Matter lives in, like, central Florida, he's over on the west coast of Florida. I'm actually in Orlando. And, uh, yeah, it was, I, DPR sent me a freaking Skype message. He goes, I heard, hope you weren't a, a freaking victim of that, that gay bar shooting. He's like, I can just see you sneaking out late at night in your, in your leather chaps and shit. I was like, you do, <laughs> I mean, and this was like right after it happened. I came home from work to that fucking, these messages. It was, it's absolutely terrible. And I told him that I'm fine, that the gay bar I go to is only accessible through the back door. <laughs> yeah, and I, I thought was... my text to you was too soon because uh, I we... fucking wait, 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 ribbed wait, wait. you too. So, so are yeah. you telling me that me, Dark Matter, and DPR all made a gay bar joke about Cocktivus? Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the first? Oh. Who was the first? Who won? Uh, oh, I, I'd have to look. I think I think Dark Matter won. Damn. Oh shit. Yeah. I mean, he immediately saw a tragedy as an opportunity to make a, a joke. <laughs> Only towards me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I should... That's because it was just you, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it publicly. Oh, well, it's about to be public. Hold on. I'm going <laughs> to look that shit up right now. In the world, what a shitlord this asshole is. Mm hmm. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, man, I just heard about that terrorist attack in Orlando. Was that near you? And I replied, Yeah, it was close to where I live. It's crazy shit. I said, there's a, there's a blood bus with a line going around the block right outside. That was when I was at work. Uh, and then he says, when I heard it happened at a gay club, I was immediately worried for your safety. And, and I, I didn't even LOL or anything. You know, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted him to be, feel guilty. So I replied, I actually have a coworker that was there that night and left right before the shit went down. And that's the truth. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no LOL for you, sir. That was too soon. Too, too soon, soon, Dark Matter. And I immediately felt so much shame that I climbed all the way to the roof of my Lotus and jumped off, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get hurt at all. What an asshole. Jesus <laughs> Christ. 
<laughs> God. It's not like, what are you going to what are you going to do if you fall on your face or your head? Like, you're not going to knock any hair off, and you can't get any fucking uglier, right? So, <laughs> you'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, we'll, I'm sure we'll be talking about that, uh, the Orlando incident later on in the show. But how about we try and be somewhat upbeat and, and get some <laughs> to be get totally laps fair, in before all that bullshit? To be totally fair, I think, I think we, we, so far... Have just pretty much covered all the bad tastes, and I think we're 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 headed in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're very very classy show we have here. <laughs> this shows a lot of things, but classy. Jesus Christ, uh, it just ain't one of them. <laughs> might might be pushing it. I try my best to class it up, but I can only work with so much. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, your idea of class is buying like a freaking. A penis implant that that has four fucking wheels and tires on it, man. <laughs> yeah, and you, you couldn't even you dark matter. You and the Lotus reminds me of that South Park episode where they're all like, "No, I ain't got a small dick," and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna fuck everything up." And everyone that wants to fuck everything up is like a penis replacement type car, like a, a Hummer or a freaking giant lifted truck or a freaking you know super nice sports car or some shit. That's you, Dark Matter. You have a, such a tiny penis. Me and Drew, we have a, such a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's kick it off here. You actually have what, okay, just two two videos involving snakes. Where you just like some sometimes uh, sometimes it just happens that way. Sometimes they're related videos or something like that. Don't pick oh, snake. So she, she was actually trying to pet the snake. Yeah, she's actually trying to pet the fucking snake or grab it by the back of its head or whatever. Honestly, she would have had the same reaction if I tried to put my snake in her box. Uh, she would have been screaming. <sighs> Dude, look at how horrified these girls are of your joke. Look at them. <laughs> They're aghast. I love how the immediate the help her friends give her is to run the fuck away, to put distance between the person <laughs> needs help and themselves. Jesus Christ! Like Shy's, it's like a like a you know like a board game or whatever. Shy's just slowly moves like two paces forward for every bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God damn. Yeah. So uh, the only, I guess the only reason this is funny is because she fucking kind of deserved it. It's not like some snake just randomly attacked her. She went and fucked with a snake. I don't know if it, it looks like it might have broke her hand. Okay, so it's already you, just you know. turn down the volume because I can't hear that screaming again. Okay, so, so <laughs> like ah, ah, it's kind of mortifying. She's she's reaching in and the thing is already snapping at her, right? She's like yeah. striking, so she pulls back and then just kind of like oh, right back in. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> and that thing has got some power. That's a big fat yeah. snake. That thing will fuck your hand up. Oh Jesus! Christ. I think I, I honestly it, I think it's them. just biting her. And they have little teeth. It, it can hurt. And who knows what her pain threshold is? Yeah, but... and, and she looks like a like a frail, builded lady. However you would say it. But that thing is that <laughs> sounds thing like is... sexism. Misogynistic <laughs> pig. That, that, yeah, that's... she can't handle the snake. If you know what I mean. That snake uh, is is oppressing the shit out of her forearm right now. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that's for damn sure. I'm telling you, if that snake had grabbed on to my left forearm, it w it could have broken it easily. But if it had grabbed on to my right forearm, <laughs> I've spent years you just like, honing the the, the muscle just, in that forearm. TJ I think <laughs> I could have broken that freaking snake's neck just by flexing yeah. my forearm. TJ flexes the snake just fucking explodes. <laughs> Little poof dust. Master, it's the master muscle, if you know what I mean. When I see a snake like that, that big, all I pretty much see is a handy condom. Jesus Christ! Is he? He's just going all out. <laughs> oh, look at this! Look out. at this! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh no! That's terrible! <gasps> look what we discovered by accident! That's awesome. oh shit! Good God! No <laughs> wonder Steve is so. You know, into it. He's like, God damn. Steve looks like he's not enjoying it, like Rick. 
Faster. What, what are you doing, Rick? It's like, what is I, th- I would have thought that Shives it's... wouldn't like Santorum, but I guess they get along just fine. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That is... That is uh, that's pretty epic, actually. That should become like a regular GIF, like on its own. <laughs> so, this is Drew. You need to get a lacy green one as well for Dark Matter. Oh, uh, oh, that's what we green. could get him instead of the uh, aviators. We can get him some like horn rim feminist glasses. Oh God. Yeah, man. You're talking about problem glasses? No. Yeah. Problem glasses. Another magic fingers. See, why, why do I get a feeling like this is the this is the route like the Star Wars prequels were going with lightsabers? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just steadily getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> uh, this guy's got skill though. He like whatever he he's doing that all like. It's not on a on a. It's not rotating on its own. He's doing that all with his fingers. Magic fingers, man. Turn the music off. We're gonna get a fucking copyright oh, from yeah. Enya. <laughs> yeah, I knew I knew Cactivus would know exactly who that is. Fuck yeah, man. I used to listen to Deep Forest. <laughs> Do you know what that? It's like, it's like a beat with like jungle sounds and shit like that. It's really hippie, stupid shit. But it, I, I it's actually pretty catchy. A few of them, but it's totally Enya like. Oh, here, I'll just sing it. Right. No, you, he said turn it off for the copyright music. Oh wait, no, that was Cactopus. Yeah, it sounded just like Enya. I know. Oh pretty badass what he's able to do with this shit to be quite honest yeah it's like it's it's just another one of those things it's like how do you get to the point where you find out like dude i have this crazy talent like what is it it's like i just have like curved glow sticks and i just fucking twirl the shit out of them. well he the other one that he did was with rings so he obviously oh look at that shit damn that's badass looks like a swastika <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's right there, too. The gay swastika, it's right there. Jesus, you're like the Neeb of the group now. He's like, he's like, did you see that Nazi shit? Wasn't it awesome? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at that shit, dude. Oh, shit. Hey, it's pretty badass. I don't... I don't uh... I don't see myself having the patience. Yeah, look at that. You that's a lot of time in front of a mirror, I'm assuming. I mean, this is the sort of And shit. now it's SS. Come on, Drew. <laughs> Why do you keep <laughs> Jesus. You think it's a coincidence he keeps pausing it like this? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Man. Like that that so is that is bad. cool. It's it's this is one of the things that in certain places in the world like the citizens will mob up and like murder you because they think you're a sorcerer or some shit. Oh yeah, definitely. And in other places of the world, they won't even throw change at you on the fucking street. <laughs> that is pretty cool, though, man. I like that. Yeah, it's, it, that's uh, it's something. It, it requires some skill for sure. That's, I bet you that guy's really good at uh, sleight of hand. That's not the that's not the same guy that did the other ones, right? I don't know. I'm 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 gonna assume that it is because we didn't get, actually get to see the face. Of the other guy, and he had similar oh, yeah, a similar style. True. I'm going to assume it was until proven otherwise. Let's see. Um, crazy homeless possessed hunchback Mexican lady exorcism. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that sounds, that's, that's the title of that video, we, and we, this we, is it's every one of those same things. This is not an inaccurate title. I'll, I'll read that one more time for everybody. Crazy homeless possessed hunchback Mexican lady exorcism. This is going to be, this has oh to be good. Oh my god. The <laughs> you Lucky in the past you did. You ought to understand. You took my sister recovering home for her kids. She held you in a garage, bitch. Ooh. How dare you? What other one? Dude, quit talking Dude, to her. And turn that shit out. down. Jesus Christ. Oh, is it loud? Is it loud, guys? 
All I could hear is some crazy hunchback Mexican homeless lady that's about to get an exorcism <laughs> screaming in me, my ears, man. It's fucking killing me. Dude, this lady with the bike, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of there before you get stabbed. Go! You have a bike! Do you know how to ride it? Go! Jeez. Fast! Yeah, I mean, like, like getting into, like, these arguments and stuff with people is one thing, but when they start, like, slapping themselves and they put off that, like, oh, shit vibe. She's like, doing the leave. face thing where it looks like she's like, ah, that's why they, they, I, <laughs> the cameraman genuinely starts trying to fucking exercise the demons from her because she starts doing this, like, ah, like, like, fucking creepy shit. Yo, motherfuckers need Jesus. Yeah. You don't know yourself! What? There's the hunchback. <laughs> that is that, That's the hunchback part. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Hold so, on, the exorcism part is coming. What was her name? What? That's her name. Where does they hold you at? There we go. That's live footage, gentlemen. Of the, that's the live demon of the exorcism. The demon of exorcism. Yeah, that freeze frame. God damn, that's beautiful. Was, okay, all right, have fun with that one, guys. That's sucking ghost dick, wasn't that it? <laughs> Pretty much it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a good hallelujah in the, in the name of... And did the guy say that's the ghost, or that's the spirit, or the demon of exorcism? He doesn't know. He he's a complete idiot. He's about. He just said hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we command you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we command you out. Oh, whoa, Lord. We command you in the name of Jesus. Command you in the name of Jesus. Whoa. Lord, we ask that you rebuke this demon in the name of Jesus. The demon's, sort of popping the lock, demon's name is Crack Cocaine. <laughs> she needs to rebuke the shit out of it, but you're not going to do it by saying, help me, Jesus. <laughs> this is what happens when one type of moron runs into another type of moron on the street at random. Well, yeah, this is, this is what you call the real shit. God damn, man. That's... that's Chasing the dragon, but chasing the demon. Okay, now, now, how different? You remember the video we played the last week that was on our vacation, TJ, where the guy was in our the parking lot. Yeah, he so, was. Yeah, it's, he was like, ah, like flapping his arms and shit. He was definitely on some shit, but he was a lot bigger and more intimidating. Oh yeah, yeah. This lady's just like, oh shit, like she, she'll probably like stab you with like a syringe or something. Exactly. There's something scary about her. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that lifestyle, um, <laughs> but uh, wait, wait, we have someone here that's actually in that stuff. Uh, Pulse, Grant, what, how, how is uh, being in that lifestyle with the... Uh, you saying Grant knows this lady? Uh, well, maybe. Damn, I think man. he buys his meth from her. You gotta do, you gotta do Grant's voice, man. Well. Damn, man, I know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. So, uh, that's the, that's Esmeralda. She's got the best stuff on the, on the street. Hey, she she stole my syringe. For real? Hey, let me borrow that syringe real quick, Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> the, poor, the poor guy. He's like, what I'm the cheers. fuck? Man. I'm a, I'm a cheers we, to Grant, man. We love you. We love you, Grant. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it, it goes from like. Stupid, scary to stupid, stupid. You know, he recognizes that she's kind of crazy because she's saying a lot of gibberish. So it only makes sense for him to <laughs> start to saying a lot of gibberish. I don't know, man. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your greatness. They're, they're, your they're all shouting gibberish at each other. Okay, okay, and look, then the look. one guy's like, yes, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for what? Look, what the look, fuck has changed or is different now? Look, look, yes, man, Lord, look, we thank her, you. Her, she's she has the excuse of being on drugs. They are dead sober. They yeah, are, they are on religion. <laughs> and oh God! 
Ramalama Ding Dong. Goodness. We ask you for your love and your kindness. For forgiveness. We ask that you serve, serve us, Father God. Save her. <laughs> Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. They, 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 like, they deserved it to get stabbed at that point. Yeah. I'm, I hope she's got a, a nice dirty syringe to go poke this guy with and teach him a lesson yeah. trying to exercise strangers on the fucking like, side of the 7-Eleven. Hope she goes paraphernalia ninja on their asses. Yeah. Yeah, for real. She has like a broken meth pipe she like cuts his wrist with. What's that? Not? I, I should have played this one next. This is uh, Frog <coughs> versus Snake versus Cat. <laughs> so yeah. What the fuck? We're seeing a frog that is halfway done eating a snake. <laughs> the snake is still fucking Dude. alive, and now the cat has decided that this is interesting. This is like three Chinese New Year's in one video. <laughs> Dude, you know the, the like the crazy thing about it is like if you're a frog and you insist on eating the snake, I would not eat that in first because that thing's just going to turn around and just continuously bite you in the face, right? Yeah, um, it actually it, it's obviously a non-poisonous snake. Revolutionist is right. This is pretty fucking metal. Yeah, it is, and it, this video actually goes on for a while. Dude, that so. frog looks that, seriously. That that <laughs> frog looks bad ass with that snake in his mouth. Beast. <laughs> that snake is so fucked. I know. That's what I. That's the entire thing I'm thinking is he's in that like never give up mode, but he's. <laughs> Half eaten, and the other half is getting fucked with by a cat. <laughs> Jesus. That right there is the reincarnated Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, does that does that kind of remind you, like when you watch like the nature shows, where like the like the buffalo is down by the water, and like the lion comes up on the beach, and he's getting closer to the water, then you see like a giant fucking crocodile come up out of the water. So now the fucking thing's looking back and forth, you know, like oh shit. Yeah. At that point, you you uh. You let the lion jump on your back, and then you drag him in the water. I'm going to go down. We're all going to go down. It's, it's everybody, everybody who has played, like, Fallout or something like that knows that you lead the raiders into the ghoul nest, and you let them fight it out, and then you clean up the aftermath. It's simple. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I, what is this? The, you, that must be something uh, people with free time do. People that aren't working on uh, on their next Microsoft Paint animation. I've, I'm just going by what I hear the kids talk about nowadays. <laughs> oh, so so what you're saying is you've got your two year old. <laughs> is he three now? He's four. Cock four. Octopus. You bought your four year old the fucking PlayStation Four and all that shit. Is he playing Fallout? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That because the kids. That's the only kids you talk to. I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all hope. Unless you've been hanging out with DPR lately. <laughs> One of the things that bothers me about this video is that it's four and a half minutes long. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just goes on and on. What? This this frog eventually like starts hopping away with this fucking snake hanging out of its mouth. It's a beast of a frog. I wonder what the hell made that frog think it could eat that snake. Um, like I used to have, that... have an aquarium, and I had like a I don't know two and a half foot moray eel. And a small, a grouper like this big. All right, not a very big grouper. I'm like, yeah, all right, that's that's safe because they're it's too big for the eel, and it's the grouper's too big for the fucking eel. The eel's too big for the grouper. Well, I went and I came home one day, and there's the fucking grouper with like his gut was just massive, and he had half the eel hanging out of his fucking mouth. And he like they just I don't know some some. Uh, You've seen the anaconda that like kills itself trying to fucking eat a crocodile. Yeah, yeah, eat yeah, something too damn big for itself. Yeah, its stomach they, will, like blow up. Did they die? I mean, did did they both live or what? For what? Your your eel and group. Oh no, the, the eel was toast. The group oh. made. I I released the fucking thing because there's no if if I can't have a fucking two and a half foot moray eel in the tank with it, then I can't have anything in the tank with it. So I, and, and the groupers, quite honestly, you can only keep them for a few months anyway. They get huge. So, yeah, that snake is not giving up, though. 
the, the fucking frog is just chilling. I know. Like, it's he, like... He's di slowly digesting the other fucking half of the snake. Yeah, it's almost like a like alien. Remember, like when it, like the little mouth comes out, like the tongue or whatever. <laughs> it's got kind of like it's got kind of. Here, like skip forward some. We'll see if you. Uh, you oh, can... there he goes. He's trying to turn around. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying right there. If that snake wants to bite that frog, that frog's fucked. It, it, ain't, do, it ain't able to do anything. Yeah. I, I don't think he's going to do a, a bunch of damage, though. It's just a small, non venomous snake. <laughs> the frog, he's like turning around to the frog, like, look, we can both take this cat. Like, if you just let me go. Last warning, bro. Last warning. He's like, I'll shit in your mouth, man. I'll shit right down your throat. <laughs> this poor snake. Yeah, this is after the fucking frog is hopped off. <laughs> this, this poor fucking snake. Uh, I, yeah, I feel bad. And that's and that snake got away, all right, and then grew up to be very big. And then they put him in this box and some bitch tried to pet him. And he was like, I'm not having it. <laughs> that fucking snake. <clears throat> oh yeah, this this was good. I don't care what you are. This is the third or fourth time you've done this to me. Oh, should be going to jail. All right, it's shoplifting, right? Okay. All right. I've seen this. I'm sorry, man. I got kids to feed too. Give me that crap now. You hear the people filming? Damn. Hey, dude, he's got a, what is all weaves and shit? No, those ribs. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking R ribs. Ri ribs Rack of ribs, all kinds of meat. It's shit, shit for the bakery, too. Damn. Oh my god! <laughs> the greedy motherfucker! Stop <laughs> trying to pretend like you never stole a side of beef. No, dude. No, no, look, First look. of all, I'd be smart enough to fucking get some pants that wouldn't fucking show all the, like... Dude, there's no way when, when you've got, like, bulges around your ankles that you can claim it's your meat and get away with it. You know what I mean? Well, dude, you know, the the funny thing is, like, I've I've worked in grocery stores for several years and stuff. And uh, I've seen a lot of things like this. People would shove it all in their jackets. Dude, you'll always be amazed at how much shit these people would pull out whenever they get caught. But the the craziest one I saw, I was at Walmart one time back when I worked in automotives. And I was just, like, in the bathroom taking a piss. And, like, this, this off-duty cop came in there. And I'm, like, just standing there at the urinal peeing, right? And he's like, uh, look, you know who you are and you know what you took. And I'm just... I, I thought I was the only one in the bathroom. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And he's like, if you put Dude, it, it, your butthole <laughs> just instinctively clenched up. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know, if you if you come outside and put in, and just uh, leave it all sitting at the layaway counter over here, there won't be any problems. And I'm like so convinced I'm the only person in the bathroom. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I didn't do shit. Do, do you want me to slap my cock down on the fucking layaway counter? What the hell? <laughs> but, uh, this, uh, this dude, this dude came out of the freaking stall. And you know that, like, Walmart has, like, the movie bins for, like, five bucks or something like that, the DVDs and all that? This dude pulled out, dude, I swear it was at least a dozen DVDs out of his fucking, like, pants. And just, like, one after another, dude. And it's all just, like, you know, like, shitty movies. Like, he was just gonna, I guess, you know, sell somewhere down the street or something. Jesus Christ. But, I mean, dude, like, just like this, where you're just like, nah, nah, okay, that has to be all. It's like a fucking, like... Like a magician just like pulling the, what is it, like the bandana or whatever out of the fucking hat and it just keeps... I mean, when you get that greedy, you're going to fucking get caught. You don't... If you're going to shoplift, you take like a rack of ribs. Not like, <laughs> not like you know, ten racks of ribs, some fucking steaks and like some garlic bread. And he's like, oh shit, I don't think we got any milk. Here's a gallon of milk. Like, that. dude, you can't get away with that kind of shit, you fucking moron. God, fucking embarrassing though. I'm, I have no, uh, 
like it it sucks if you are like literally trying to eat or whatever but that's not the case you know what yeah, i mean that's it's, when, when like you're just that, being like that you're just yeah. being an ass well that's what uh one time um uh, and he's wearing was, nice clothes and shit too so he's yeah. obviously got enough money for that shit well there was one time it was on christmas eve and i was working in produce at a grocery store this was about four or five years ago and this this dude was uh shoplifting and the manager called me up front and was like look you need to help us keep the guy here until like the cops get here and I I go up front and stuff, and the guy tries to walk out, and they dude they are steadily walking with him. I see him walking down the aisle, of the managers, and they're just reaching in his jacket, dude. And the shit they're pulling out is like, <laughs> how could you even fit that in a jacket, dude? It's like like twenty pound bags of jumbo shrimp for deep frying and stuff, and then they like, pull out fruit <laughs> roll ups, and then they're pulling like, and the guy's just walking like I didn't do shit, and they're just <laughs> steadily pulling all of this out, dude. It's it's fucking it just dude. happened to be carrying <laughs> fucking jumbo <laughs> shrimp. Yeah, didn't we play a video of a drunk ass guy in a fucking liquor store and he's like putting the bottles in his jacket and he's like and they're like, You're stealing right in front of us. He's like, I don't steal nothing and they're like falling out the bottom of his fucking jacket. That's you fucking yeah, people that's... people are, are disgusting. Well that dude when we were stopping him, we were holding him there till the cops got there, man, and that dude was starting to kill us. He's like, Man, I will cut all of your hearts out and murder you if you don't let me leave. Like, Wasn't there? Make me uh, pissed off. I hate it when people fucking try and talk shit like that. It enrages me. Yeah. It's, Wasn't the, there the smartest a, thing to do if you're gonna pull a fucking weapon on me is to fucking use it. TJ's all, don't come at me, bro. Don't <laughs> come at me, bro. Like I'm no, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that I'm like the best fighter or just like I'm awesome in any way. But it does infuriate the fuck out of me when someone wants to step it up to that kind of level. Like yeah, you you better fucking use it because at that point I'm fucking furious. No. You were saying something dark matter. <laughs> Wasn't there a lady? I don't know if it was in a video we watched. She like um, was wearing a long skirt and she put a, a turkey up in between her legs and then it was holding it in between her legs and was like waddling. And we watched it with beer too, didn't we? We watched. Um, that sounds familiar. I think it was like a Thug Life. She takes like a fucking case of beer, one of those long like eighteen packs or whatever. And puts it upright, like, and then squats over it, picks it up with her thighs and the, with a long dress, and yeah. just walks right the yeah. fuck out. Yeah. Dude, I think we saw one where a lady did it with a fucking TV. <laughs> Still TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's nuts. Um, let's see how dubstep was discovered. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to show you on a very primitive piece of equipment. Yeah, this is uh, a piece of uh, vinyl you, um, pose that you can buy. At have you guys have you guys seen this? Um, no, no I, I've seen it. I saw it on Facebook, but I didn't watch it. Okay, well, this is uh, it's pretty incredible. I'll, I'll tell you that. Lowe's. I think I bought this at Lowe's uh, not too long ago. Lowe's. And, uh, it's huh? No. Lowe's. He said. No, he did not. That's how yeah. you say it. Lowe's. I think I bought this. He said it right. Lowe's. He said Lowe's. Say it, Dark Lowe's. Matter. Lowe's. Dude, there's one L in the word. Not I know. I know. I've spelled it before. Lowe's. <laughs> you can buy at Lowe's. I think I bought this at Lowe's uh, not too long ago. And See, this guy's bald and he gets it. Yeah, L for real. L's your problem. His head looks kind of weird, though. Yeah, it's it like does. flat on top. It's like like you took a hammer and just went pow. Yeah. It looks like he wore a yarmulke that was too tight when he was growing up. Do you see what I mean? It's like... <laughs> it looks like uh, um, what was that one movie, Science of the Lambs, where he cuts the top of his head off? Oh, um, Hannibal. Hannibal, wasn't it? Hannibal, Hannibal. Hannibal. Ray yeah. Yoda, yeah. I've got all those books. Fucking love that shit. I bet the books are great. Oh yeah, the books are really good, man. I'm um, I'm actually rereading the third one right now. Yeah, I, I, well, originally in the books, I mean, this is totally off subject, but originally in the books, wasn't Red Dragon first? Because I heard it was the best. Um, no, I think Silence of the Lambs was first. I want to I wanna say it was, because there was no, like, um, as far as I'm concerned, it was Silence of the Lambs, then Hannibal, and then, um, I don't even think it was called Red Dragon. I think it was called something else, but it had Red Dragon in it, and then that's what they named the movie. I can't remember what the fucking title of it is. I just started reading it, but it's basically the third in the, in the Hannibal yeah, lecture because, series. Yeah, really shit. Gory as fuck, too. Red Dragon is kind of like the you know, like they do in movies all the time now. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's it's like a prequel. Before and yeah, yeah, 
but it, a well done one. Anyway, let's yeah. let's hear this guy invent dubstep. And uh, it's vinyl tubing. It's for those of you who might be interested. It's three eighths inch in, inside diameter. But basically, when you take a mouthpiece and you put it in a length of tubing, it'll resonate on certain notes. And I'll show you how that works. Here's a mouthpiece alone. But when you put it in a piece of tubing, it comes out about like this. And then what uh, this is, this is just a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically he has, he has a beer bong, basically. Huh? Basically, he has a beer bong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this gets uh, this gets pretty badass. Plastic funnel, but this is just like the bell on the brass instrument. And what this is is like a megaphone. It actually takes that same sound and makes it louder. Nice. <laughs> is that uh, real? It's or, not real at all, you dipshit. That's the way it's so matter. fucking funny. Oh, okay. Jesus, dark matter. Come I was on. kidding. I knew it wasn't real. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. No, it's well, hilarious, though. It's no, so fucking when he, funny. When he first started making that noise through the tube, at first I was like, wait a minute. Then I was just like, no. no. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, if it was a brass tube or something, like, maybe... Maybe, dude, it's it's hard to find a fucking instrument that makes the fucking transformer sounds. No matter how much fucking tubing and, and fucking funnels you put on it. Let's see. Uh, this is a bulldozer battle on the streets of China. I thought it was the Japanese that were into those mech fights. <laughs> Dude, th this is and this is not like uh, two guys having fun. They are trying to hurt each other. They, they got into some kind of fucking argument or something. Who, who wants to be the first one that does like the racist accent? Uh, uh, fuck you, front rotor. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you, front rotor. Did they do this in Footloose? <laughs> Footloose? Footloose? You remember the movie Footloose? Christ. Didn't they play chicken with fucking front end loaders? I do. I can't remember. It's been forever, uh, forever since I saw that movie. Dude, that movie's good. I do remember this this kind of scene in Rain Man, though. Yeah, that was like the highlight, the the climax of the movie, when the front front end loaders battled in Rain Man. Huh? Dude, people in the chat are giving me shit. No, dude, Footloose. Footloose. It was Footloose. Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> Footloose was a good movie, okay? Footloose was about, like, religious oppression in a small town that the Baconator comes in to, to solve. He's like, I'm, I'm not having it. I want to dance. And then he dances. And, and uh, that's why it sounds so funny. Because I know what the premise of Footloose is. I just don't remember the fucking bulldozer chicken. Yeah, and he gets his shoelace caught. Like, he's trying to bail out. And he gets, like, his shoelace caught. And then, like, the other guy was all like, this guy's crazy. You know, so cheesy 80s. Like, this guy's crazy. Then he jumps off and, like, Kevin Bacon wins. Yep. It's <laughs> <sighs> good <sighs> And then this other guy's gonna come in and try and help out. <laughs> See, what in the fuck is going on here? You don't fuck with somebody who has a black belt in dozitsu. I know that these guys go to school and they do their their tie dozer shit with their, you know, where they they all get in the line and they, you know, they go through their drills and. 
dude, so many bars. He's just going through and putting everything on him. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> to the point where you can't even see his face. Just God. behind all the soup and the. <laughs> I just see ears. <laughs> ears Jesus, bars. what'd you call it? Those those do, dozitsu dozitsu. Ugh, Jesus oh. Christ, you get horrible. Jesus. <sighs> Watch. Yeah. Watch. Here comes another one. It's like, oh, holy shit, it's a riot! Ah, and I put this holy guy. Shit. Up. It's, it's like it, it's just like one of those old Bruce Lee flicks where Bruce Lee fights off the whole crowd. Chinese you know, yeah. you're gonna see pretty soon. You're gonna start to see the bulldozers fluttering in on the treetops. <laughs> They got, they oh, dude. Got he's like, no, done. Get <laughs> no, the fuck out of here. Jump into the other one. Watch. This, this is like, you know what this is kind of like? It's like a, like a libertarian-esque construction site where nobody's a supervisor or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Either that or they all think they're supervisors. Yeah, like, no, you know, like complete no regulations or anything like that. You know? we, we are these, these are like... Chinese Jaegers? Do they call them Jaegers? Yeah, the freak. Oh my god. Pacific Rim. <laughs> Pacific Rim, that's it. <laughs> what? What is this? The, uh, yeah, this is this is like they were like, all right, let's practice just in case Transformers ever becomes real. We're just going to practice right here. All right, Bobby, you get that one. I'll take this one. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Zhao Ting. Yeah, Zhao Ching. How about how about um, <laughs> something something Wong and we <laughs> we too low. Too low. holy holy fuk and Bang Ding Ao <laughs> Bang Ding Ao is quite appropriate. Oh, that is the fucking greatest. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. All these, all these, all this racist shit we're saying, Drew. I saw this exchange that Francesca Ramsey had on Twitter that blew my fucking mind. I thought, I thought, you, I thought you were blocked. <laughs> oh, I am, but not when I'm not logged in. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I I have to 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 get my best comedy. I have to log out of Twitter because I'm blocked from everyone. That's hilarious. But anyway. <laughs> Um, she, someone tweeted at her a joke, um, white people age like they pissed off a gypsy, right? And, and she took umbrage with the G word. She's like, whoa, Are not you, cool with the G word. Are you, serious? you know, I don't approve of that. You know, it's like, <laughs> that's the problem you had with yeah. the joke. Yeah, seriously. It's like. <laughs> Like seriously, like never, probably never entered into her mind that the joke was at the expense of a white person. It's just yeah. No, fuck that. No, no. Gypsies are people too. God damn it! Have you heard of the Holocaust? It wasn't just Jews. They rounded up gypsies too. Oh, I, I'm offended by your use of the J word. Which one? All of them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, wait, the the fact that like grown grown fucking adults can be like. Oh my God! The G word, and the N word, and the F word, and the other F word, and the other other F word, and I'm like, uh, I'm lost. Can, what do you mean? You mean fuck or faggot or like? Can you just say it? Can you just say the fucking word? Yeah, it, it, it gets, we'll all be better off. It, it gets like like really weird with these people. It's like you almost like before you start a conversation, you want just like a list of words that are seriously going to like trigger them. Like, cause there's a lot of this. Like, you'll have a conversation, and dude, it'll be like shit you had never even conceived was going to be like a, you know, like one of their like no-no words or something. Like gypsy. Like, when did has that always been taboo? Is that a taboo thing to say, or to call someone a gypsy? I really honestly don't even know what the fuck a gypsy is. It won't. It won't be long. It's just like Eskimo. You got to call them Inuit now. Can't call them. Uh, see, can't call them Eskimo. Any like, any it, kind of racial word that isn't describing a white person eventually becomes taboo given enough time. Right. I mean, because there, there's some people in the <laughs> camp of like, uh, for instance, if you call black people black, that that's 
becoming like a no-no. That's like seen as the same thing as calling them like colored or whatever. I have uh, I have black friends, by the way, so I can't be racist. But I have a couple of black friends, uh, black friends, uh, that <laughs> poor fried rice, uh, that that uh, don't, they don't like being called African American. They're like, I'm not African. They're like, I'm just just American. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't use African American either. I I just say black because if if I'm if I can be called white, then they can be called well, and, black. And, and in all honesty, man, like the <coughs> call, referring to someone as African American because they're black is you're actually assuming quite a bit that's not necessarily there. You know what I mean? Like, cause yeah. you could be talking to black people that are in America and like their parents have lived in fucking England for, you know, like I don't know the last like 150 years or some shit. So. They have as much, and, and also, like, the average black person in America has as much ties to Africa as I have to Europe. Now, no yeah, one calls me pretty a much European, none. Yeah, no one calls me a European American. So this is, this is correct. I don't know, like, but again, this is the same thing with like we talked about with like the the trans stuff, like the proper pronouns and stuff like that. You got to understand, dude. Like, not everybody's going to be like exactly with you on what is going to piss you off. We can't just we don't just automatically know these things. And, yeah, and everybody and, plays and, by their own damn rules, so and, uh, how are and, we going to read out your mind? And acting, like, offended constantly is not going to gain you any fucking supporters that, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like acting, like, self-righteous and indignant and constantly is not going to make anyone want to come to your fucking defense. Right. Um, if you want to fucking just, like, be like, oh, yeah, I totally get it, well, you know, and you're cool about it, that's one thing, but to be like, oh, how dare you well dude then you expect people to be like go fuck yourself and yeah. and to go out of their way to ignore your fucking See, requests look at it you're if, such a fucking prick about it if, if you were at let's say at a party or a social function or at college or whatever it was and you're going up to a group of people and you hear one person talking like that about all these things that offend them and stuff like it, my first reaction is like i just don't even want to bother getting to know or talking to this person or something like that because i don't want to have to walk on fucking eggshells I don't want yeah. to, you know, be accused of being a fucking bigot or some shit like that, or even have to argue with someone who's getting offended by fucking everything. It's really funny because I, I in my regular like everyday life, I have really not run across anyone that is like that touchy. Even like the hardcore liberals that I work with, like people that are that I think are like like more liberal than myself, uh, are not that touchy about anything. Um, yeah. So it. For me, if it wasn't for like the stuff I was exposed to online, uh, I wouldn't. I would have a hard time believing that anyone could feel that fucking and you know touchy about shit and get that upset yeah. and, and offended constantly. And that, but goddamn, if it isn't the truth. Yeah, I mean, and that actually, I think that's a fair point, man, because that also goes into playing in the reason people are so touchy about a lot of this shit is for virtue signaling. And when you're, dude, when you're hanging out, you know, with the dudes in the back prepping meat or whatever, or whatever the hell it is you do prepping the food for the restaurant and stuff like that, you know, there's not, like, a, you know what I mean? Like, oh, on the internet and when so, in social media and shit like that, there's a crowd watching. So that's where, like, you get these big, you know, virtue signals. And oh, yeah, like but that. to me, I mean, personally, I would, I'm more concerned. I mean, don't take offense, uh, all, all our viewers, and a lot of you I've known for a long time, and I respect the hell out of you, but for me, I have to work next to the people, my coworkers. Like, so I would... Like in my mind, I used to be like, uh, I should be, you know, careful about the the topics I talk about, and I still am. But if someone feels comfortable enough to bring up their political shit or their uh, religious stuff or whatever with me, then I, I I'll just say whatever, you know. I I tell people all the time that I'm an atheist at work after they bring it up. Someone will ask like, Hey, what church do you go to? And I'm like, None of them. I'm, you know, I'm an atheist. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm and the, for for the most part, people are fine. I've only had a, like a couple people ever been like you could tell that they were like, <gasps> and they had to like keep it to themselves or whatever. But most of those people are, you know, those people are dying out pretty much. People, most everybody, or a lot of people know an atheist at this point, and so that hopefully that stigma is sort of going away. Even though we're not, uh, we're still not a, a, a very yeah, trusted yeah, group. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, what ha what happens nowadays is you get a highly religious person who comes online, and they'll see an atheist who makes brilliant artwork and animations and is eloquent and funny, and they'll be like, "Hey, I must have been wrong about atheists all this time." 
Yeah, are but, you but, are but, you but, looking but, for shives? Because if you're not, you should be. No, I, I was about have, to say, uh, you know, aside from non-stamp collector, what, what are you what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I have no clue what he's talking about. Yeah, Joe doesn't do animation. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh man. Good God. Good God, he missed Monty. You have one more short one, sir. Short? Um, no, those are too good. Uh, this might be short. Dude, sure. it's late. Dude, I got ketamine, meth, MDMA. Oh. Um, I just wanted you to know that while you were talking, Dark Matter took a drink of something, and his microphone overpowered yours, and all I heard was him going... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a single fucking word that you said. It was actually... <laughs> you, you, you weren't worried that I was... Choking to death from the way you make it sound. Worried? You mean hoping? <laughs> what you want? I got ketamine, meth, MDMA, Adderall, Bromo Dragonfly, heroin, coke, crack, codeine, oxys, perks, vikes, PCP, LSD, Dilaudid, masculine, mush. So he has like a life sentence in that case. Uh, <laughs> like probably about four or five of them. They'll probably like bring up execution. Shrooms, bath salts, cortisone, toward all. I got Molly, I got her sister Sandra, I got Big Frank, I got birth control, I got Plan B, I got that morphine from China. They took off the market. Shit to make your dick hard, shit to make your dick soft, shit'll find your dick. That shit there's from Kenya. It's supposed to be a scurvy cure, silverback gorillas, but for humans it just makes them violently masturbate. Did I say crack? Because I got more of that. I got some ibuprofen, aspirin, I got Flintstone gummies if you want. <laughs> What, what what movie is this? That was good. Like uh, it. It, that looks like uh, John it's, fucking Cena. It yeah, it John is. Cena. It looks like him. <laughs> John Cena. Flintstone gummies. Yeah, I got Flintstone gummies. If you want them, <laughs> fucking love that shit. That's funny as yeah, fuck. That's good. That's that reminds good. me of the opening scene of uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It's like. Oh, God, I can't even remember. We had five sheets of high power glotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, two cases of beer, a bag of grass, a pint of rum, a pint of fucking, God, what else? Tequila? I can't remember it all. It's been too long since I saw it. I've never seen that movie sober. No, I, I the only... first time I watched it, I was sober, and I made it like uh, 15 minutes in, and I'm like, what the fuck is this crap? And I stopped watching it. And then I was shit housed at some party, and they're like, "We're gonna watch Fear and Loathing," and like everyone piled in. And I'm like, yeah. "I guess I should give it a fucking watch." And it was the greatest shit ever. I can, uh, well, I used to be able to. I haven't seen it in a while now, but I used to be able to like word for word the entire fucking movie. Like Gary Busey was my <laughs> my favorite scene in there. Gary Busey. I don't even see. I what don't even you, remember him. What is it. that? What? What? I I can't hear Drew when you're talking. So shut up, Dark Matter. No, I was just I I I, I don't even remember Gary Busey in it. What was he? Was he was cop. Jesus he was Christ, a cop dude, that he I'm, that. Uh, I've always been like like I had one friend that fucking loved that movie, and every time we would go over and get get high, dude, it was fucking fear and loathing. And I just remember like bits and bits because you know, like you know, when you get stoned, you start like zoning off, thinking about other shit. Then it's like, oh, well, we're watching a movie, and then like you go back to it, and it's yeah, it, it was like when he's in like the with the hotel lobby and sees the dragon and shit like that. Yeah, he's yeah. he's tripping nuts. Yeah, it's a sunshine galotter, I think, yeah. and uh, high power dude. <laughs> he's sitting there and like everything's getting goopy. And stuff like that. Dude, uh, when they, later on in the movie, when he wakes up and he's got a fucking, like, voice recorder duct taped to his chest and, like, a big alligator tail strapped to his ass. And, like, the room they're in is flooded in six inches of water. And there's just ketchup and mustard smears all over the walls. And he's, like, waking up and coming to and realizing what the fuck they've, they've done. God, that's, it's such epic shit. I don't know if, if I've ever woke up in that crazy of a situation, but I've woke up after partying. And seen some crazy shit. Like, what the fuck were we thinking? <laughs> I would have been terrified to listen to the tapes if a tape recorder had oh, been strapped man. to my chest. Yeah, <laughs> it would sound like something out of a Event Horizon. You know, it's exactly what it is. All right. Uh, hey, I forgot to give something away in the beginning, so I'm going to give it away now, and then and then we'll be back on track. So, 
Philly Beef actually gave me uh, gave me this to give away. It is a game. Now your job is to tell me, uh, people, what kind of game is it? First person to tell me correctly wins it. Board First game. Person. Wrong. Dark matter. Yeah, dork matter. Dork matter. Card game. What? What'd you say? A card game. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Dork matter got it. It's indeed a fucking card game. Whoa. It's uh it's called Ultimate Werewolf. It's the easy to learn party game for up to thirty players. Too bad you don't have any friends, huh, Dark Matter? <laughs> Dark Matter's more of a magic the gathering kind of guy. Yeah, for real. But uh it it looks pretty interesting. You basically um you know I don't know. You do some shit. Your quiet sixteenth century village has suddenly become infested with some very unfriendly werewolves. Can you and the other villagers find them before they eliminate everyone? So that's basically the game there. Huh. It's their cards and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, yeah, it's, uh, I cool. guess that's stupid. You don't have any friends or, or you would probably have fun playing this. You can thank Philly, Philly Beef. Hit, the, hit him up with a big old fat thank you for yeah, this because he brought thanks, it. Thanks, Philly. Yeah, thanks, oh, wait, he says, hang picture. on a second. Jalma made this picture. AP got it. Yeah, he says, "Angry was that Angry Pumpkin?" Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to steal it from somebody. I, I heard you say it before I saw anyone type it. Um, I see, pumpkin, I see Angry Pumpkin saying, "Gimme <laughs> horror action adventure." Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't see that. Sorry. All right. Let's well, I mean, I, I'm just happy to get something decent that might be cool instead of an Ann Colton book. Oh, yeah. Well, this is definitely a card game, so that's what I'm going with. Sorry, Philly. You gave it to me to give away, and now your say is no more. It's my say, mine. All right. We're gonna we're gonna take a break here, and uh, this this first song is for Paul. Paul knows what I'm talking about. This was, this was Paul's request, so you can blame him for the insensitivity. Um, all right, yeah, we'll be back. Time. Rock down to Electric Avenue. And I fucked up the screen cap. We gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. Dun, 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 dun. And then we'll take it higher. <laughs> we need that. I need a, uh, a funnel. And some plastic tubing. And, uh, and a, a trumpet mouthpiece. Not really, just more beer. Beer. Saying. Das beer. Das beer is good. <clears throat> some of the stuff that John Cena had in that case would uh, would make you hear the dubstep, even if there was none. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no shit. <clears throat> All right, let's give something away. Um, first person to type John Cena upside down, and I mean it. Not just the words John Cena and the word upside down. You actually have to do the text upside down. He's going to win something cool. Super this is a good cool. one. Well, it could be good. I'm going to give you a choice between two things. You know that... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You, Dark Matter wants you know, to interrupt you, me. You, you know that, me, uh, that uh, gif that people sometimes post in the chat? Uh-oh. See, J-Ben tried. But that is actually upside down and backwards. <laughs> I just want it upside down. John C. J. Uh, uh, I think Pum Angry Pumpkin wins it. Ah, uh, so you have to send shit out to the to Bufu after. Oh no, no, I'm holding all his shit until he comes to America Land. He's got like a fucking giant box of stuff already. Because you know the way uh. it, the way it used to be, Dark Matter is before Pumpkin was coming to America. DJ would just like he would say a question. And uh, he would just be like, no, don't be pumpkin, don't be pumpkin, don't be pumpkin, don't be pumpkin. <laughs> Dude, it's, the shipping is fucking stupid, ridiculous. Anyway, pumpkin, all right, so congrats, you win. Now comes the, comes the hard part. You have to give me one or two. Do you want one or do you want two? Because this is a big difference here. Big difference. If someone says, do you want a number one or a number two, you always go with number one. Jesus. Actually, I say neither, please. 
69. 69. Come on, pumpkin. I know it's a tough decision. To oh man, you nailed it. You nailed it. All right, because number one was <laughs> a Bible from our DC trip, right? But it's an uncustomized one. Number two is the goddamn customized version, <laughs> and it's got, it's got all the uh, fun stuff written wait, on wait, it. Wait, wait, is that the one from Look, Joe's? It, this is the one that I I put a triangle up for and Illuminati confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Is this the one from uh, from Joe's hotel, or is this one from uh, ours? Um, I believe these are from ours. I think the one the one that um, the one that's not customized was the one from Joe's because we didn't have time to actually customize that. But this uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so congratulations and it is it's actually this is uh it's signed by everyone that was there in dc yep so uh it's well, got uh at least that was my signature it's got drew's got peachy philly godin uh scope godless lesbian monkey fudge um yeah a lot of a lot of roxada it's got everyone's fucking signature in there so really a cool prize if you ask me so congratulations Angry Pumpkin, and I will put that in your stack of shit that I'm not sending you until you get your ass to America. He's coming to Florida, ain't he? I guess that was his plan, but he's coming somewhere the fuck here, and that's when he's getting his shit. Otherwise, he's going to be shit out of luck. <laughs> I'm not sending all... Like, at this point, it's, like, easily over $100 worth of shipping to get him all the stuff that he's won. So, go fuck yourself, AP. <laughs> All right, but yeah, go fuck yourself and congratulations at the same time. And thank you for your patronage. If you are not a patron, uh, please do check out the links that will be in the description when this goes up on YouTube. And I'm sure someone will be putting them in the chat right you see, now. You see what Paul said? I didn't sign it because fuck you, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul actually got a, uh, a signed and customized Bible as well because uh, he had won a couple of things that I hadn't considered he probably already had. In the last show, so he traded those for he wanted a Bible, so I sent him one. So yeah, that if you haven't gotten it yet, it's on on its way there, Paul. All right, <clears throat> are we ready? Are we ready for some more bullshit? Yeah, we're we're always ready for, hey, uh, for bullshit. Hold on, hold on, let me get ready. You, well, you need, you need to tell me we have a god damn it, dark matter. <laughs> god damn it. All right, we have this three uh, a three part was it diet series? Is oh, that, is that, is that like yeah. A go good one? go ahead and uh, go ahead and play that. That's no, I mean, actually it's it. uh, We can play it later on. I mean, we're starting. No, no, it's, hour, we but. can we can play it. It's it's like the the, the world's. Um, it, well, let's just put it this way: he's trying to be like a personal fitness trainer, and I believe it's for his girlfriend, but he's fucking ruthless. <laughs> Listen, to start off this diet, okay, you're going to need some nuts first. Grab those almonds. Elizabeth, grab those almonds. Thank you. Mini bananas. A handful of apples. Elizabeth, oh my gosh. Rice. Whole grain. Last but not least, this Elizabeth, leave the salad dressing alone, okay? There's fat in there somewhere. Grab this piece of lettuce, and we are good to go. We have the rest at home. All set. Elizabeth, are you ready? Elizabeth. Are you ready? Because tonight we are going on another run, and you are not going to slack off. I'll be right back. I'm paying for gas. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Oh, no, you don't, you sick freak. Elizabeth! God damn it, Elizabeth! You started your diet 19 minutes ago! You reverse right now! <laughs> Is she at the fucking drive-thru? Yeah. <laughs> you can tell she's, she's not having this shit. Now! Are you kidding me? You want bat? Well, slow down, T! Elizabeth, what the hell were you thinking? Seriously? She's pissed. <laughs> Poor Elizabeth. Oh, For real. She's like Elizabeth. tiny. It's, it's she doesn't hilarious. even look fat. I just wanted nugget. You are one nugget away from getting zero likes on your next Instagram post, Elizabeth. <laughs> just thinking about McDonald's is 500 calories, Elizabeth. You pick up your sandals and you move those little Oompa Loompa feet. Do you want to wear a two-piece or a snowsuit? 
Oh, it's part one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a three part series. We're about yeah, to, we're, we're it just into. gets progressively harsher. Ready for this journey, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you ready or not? Okay, we gotta get rid of that little gut you have, okay? It's patio season. Elizabeth, this is the easiest part, okay? We're going down the stairs. Let's go, Elizabeth! Do you wanna lose these pounds or no? Go! Don't give me the finger. Elizabeth, go! Your feet's not moving quick enough. You got little feet. Are you kidding me, Elizabeth? Move those feet, your little turtle feet. It's a pit stop. Are you serious, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, oh my God. get up those stairs now. Move those little legs. I'll is is her shirt supposed to look like that? Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be open in the back, I think. Okay, I'm about to say it, it looks way open in the back, like ripped. Yeah, it is. Okay, looks like someone tried to fucking like grab her. And ripped her shirt. I want to see you work. You got to earn your body type. You don't just get to look sexy in the summertime. Elizabeth, go. Faster. How in the world am I in front of you? God damn it, Elizabeth. Let's go, Elizabeth. Faster. Those pizza pockets ain't going to go away itself. Move it. Elizabeth, faster. How am I going faster than you? I'm in a car. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Elizabeth! Is this, is this how you work out, Dark Matter? You, the white, the old lady gets in the Lotus and chases you around the neighborhood. You're still bold. You're it's still like, how am I going faster than you? I'm in a Lotus. Part three. Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, wake up! I hear somebody downstairs. Elizabeth. What the hell? Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, get up. Somebody's downstairs and your mom's not here. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh. You are so sad. Elizabeth, why the hell did you make a fake person in bed? I needed cookies. Needed? So, so all of a sudden we live on Sesame Street? Move it, Elizabeth! Huh? You wanna push my button? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Then you will push this car all the way to Big Bird's house, you cookie monster. Now squat. Let's go. Reps. One, two, three, four, squat. One, two, three, four, squat. One, two, squat. Just keep going, Elizabeth. What does this have to do with working out? <laughs> Nothing. It's just for my entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fucking cruel. Jesus Christ. Uh, I gotta tell you, though, uh, for me, when I was in high school, like doing it with a team was the thing that got me through a lot of that shit, man. We had to run. I was the goalie for soccer, for fuck's sake, because I didn't want to have to run that much. And yet, since I was part of the team, we had to run like six miles before what, school every day. What do you just have to do the, um, I forget what they call it, where you got to like, you know, you jog in place and then you drop. And what, what is yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Those are, dude, it, they had, for us, dude, they would wait until we had like four miles under our belt and then they'd split us into two lines and uh, I don't know if you're allowed to call them this anymore, Indian sprints. <gasps> oh. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about at least? They have, they have like the one where you, <clears throat> where you do one long single file and they blow the whistle and the person in the back has to weave in and out of everyone until they get to the front. And then they no. have a split in two lines, and then when they blow the whistle, the people in the back have to jump into the middle and sprint race up to the front of each of the lines. No, it's no, I don't know. The only Indian sprints I'm aware of was the ones happening during the Trail of Tears, About TJ. To... Jesus. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't say anything wrong. I, that's something Steve would have liked to hear me say. I'm defending. Dude, you need to have, like, remember the, the Indian the eyes yeah. when they litter? <laughs> the Indian tear coming down Steve's face. I just, I, lo I love, the, I love the concept of Steve just pops up and he gets right in your face, like, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm that's not right. It. I was hoping I was gonna get an Indian with a tear instead of Steve. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I don't have an Indian with a tear yet, but till then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to handle Steve. Oh, Steve Arena is gonna keep you company. This is a bitch deserves an Oscar. And obviously, I am not sexist. I did not name this TJ. Oh, well, it's this. true, though. This is kind of a long video, and I actually think that in a certain part, it kind of shows the same part over again. So we might have to skip forward at some point. But 
this this chick is basically on the offensive, and then when the guy basically eventually fights back, and she realizes it's being filmed, she like inst uh, instantly boss. goes into like I'm the victim. <laughs> Okay, like I, I well, this okay. is really about the oh, she's in about mid swing I, right there. I, I, yeah, I, I it's, first of all, seen... really stupid to be fighting someone that is easily twice your size. Yeah, I mean, well, just yeah, look at this image right here. That that guy has you know it, at least 150 pounds on this chick. I mean, more well, than that. So, you know, you know, you know. I've ever noticed some people have a really distorted sense of their abilities. Oh yeah, it's like the little dog that thinks he's a big dog. Yeah. yeah. I mean that that kind of shit. I've, I've seen it quite often. I it's one of the reasons I don't. I stopped going to bars uh, a long time ago is because every time you go to a fucking bar, some asshole gets drunk and he looks for the biggest guy in the bar so he can prove his shit. And nine times out of ten, I'm the fucking lucky guy that gets to deal with some drunk douchebag. And that happened enough times where I was just like, fuck it. Not even worth it anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Non-stamp is here, man. Oh, hey, what up, non-stamp collector? Yeah, here, let me, uh, yeah, let me give him man. some. Don't everybody get your panties in a twist. I'm giving non-stamp fucking mod. Yeah, somebody that can finally animate. Yeah, I knew I was going to get shit. I knew it. The <laughs> good, the good animator. Fuck. Can, you guys. can you imagine what Nonstamp is thinking? Nonstamp just showed up, and there's Dark Matter, the bald fuck, and a Merkin behind bars with Steve Shives peering directly into his eyes. <laughs> he says he thought of me being in Orlando. Uh, oh, so he, he brought the joke, too. Totally, because it was a gay bar in Florida. You're no, like dude. DJ. Jesus Christ. You, you realize that, that that wasn't the only thing that happened. Like, the night before, uh, a girl was freaking shot. And then the gunman killed himself when her brother tackled him. Uh, she was on The Voice. Christina Grimm or Grimmy? Had her then. Yeah, right. fam she was a famous YouTuber and she was doing a meet and greet. Mm hmm. Meet it's and just... greet signatures and shit. So we might want to reconsider our next <laughs> our next little uh, get together there, Drew. Wait, 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 wait. So, yeah, I mean, that's so... the fucked up thing is, too, is she, I mean, she wasn't even controversial and she got fucking killed during a YouTube meetup. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, she wait, so she didn't. The guy supposedly didn't even like had never had like direct contact with her before. Hmm. Wait, and so, left a note so, on his door saying like basically apologizing. So she she went to a place and she told like a bunch of her followers or whatever she was going to be there. Yeah. Oh, she it was like a show. I think she actually sang there, and then oh, afterwards okay. was doing like signatures and meet and greet type shit. Yeah, and he walked up, up and the gun like fired on her a bunch of times the the brother tackled him and then he supposedly shot himself in the head although it wouldn't surprise me and i wouldn't blame him if the brother fucking shot him in the head damn yeah and that was the night before everyone was still like that's you haven't heard about this because it, yeah. the very fucking next day this 50 fuck well 49 because the 50th person was the fucking gunman himself and then 53 fucking injured and I had, a, I had a co-worker that was there, like, before that shit went down. It's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was... Anyway, let's uh, let's hit this, and then we'll... Yeah. Uh, I was, was going to say, like, we're, we're only five seconds into this, so I guess we can yeah, yeah. all the way back over. So, you, so, but so you that tell, guy you, is... you wait for when she become, goes from badass to, like, Oscar-winning victim. I'm just saying, like, here, here's what it is right now. That guy does not look like he's looking for a fight or whatever. I don't, I don't looking know at his what, phone. Yeah. Okay, now look at her. She's already kind of squared up and she's about to walk all the way over to him. She tests his patience for a long time. She's attacking his ass first. Oh, look at that. Kicking his car. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I noticed her kids is in the car right up front. Hey, write down her license plate. Because most likely she's going to haul ass. She's definitely throwing punches at this point. Yeah. It's spitting. All right. Spitting on him. It is only to a point where you fucking got to slap some. Yeah. You spit on me. I got to tell. I don't hit women, but you trust me. Right. Best believe you spit on me and get your goddamn. Look, grab her keys. Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. 
So did all right, so he he just I know that was the screen was kind of cut there a little bit, but he went over to her probably I guess because he's trying to I'm, I'm assuming he's on the phone with the cops with and he's cops, trying to stop yeah. her from leaving. That's I'm, I'm what assuming. I'm thinking, and that uh, and that he's trying to keep her from fleeing the scene, especially after kicking his fucking car. <laughs> I got her license plate. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Dumbass, put it in. Drugs. Jesus Christ! Yeah, bitch is crazy. This this happened at a gas station I, I worked at when I was going to college, third shift, and the person didn't stop, and it was in a big ass fucking truck, and they came right through the fucking store. Uh, well, you know right she put it in. She put it in drive. Almost came through the fucking wall. Yeah. All right, so she went at him with that little piece of two by four or whatever it was yeah. she had, and then he's like, "You can hear him." He's like, "Ah!" And after she smacks him with it or whatever, he's had enough, and and then immediately <laughs> she's not so tough anymore. Not non stamp. Says, she Jesus. went full turtle. Non stamp says, "Jesus, man, you live in a fucked up place." You talking about you lived in, you know, it was a situation like this. It's like, dude, this is a lot of places. Yep, around fucking America. <clears throat> Yeah, and you notice he's not punching her. He's you know, he's slapping her. Yeah, he's slapping her. I actually did the same thing yeah. to TJ whenever we were in DC. He kept running his mouth, and I was like, "I, I won't hit you, bro. But I'm gonna slap the shit out of you." Yeah, and then he told me to pull my pants down and bend over, and obviously I obliged. And that's why he called me Papa in the the, the chat. That's why I call him Big Papa because he loves it. Now she realizes she's being recorded, and now yeah. fucking the the victim shit instantly. She because she's, you know, finally got her come up, and and so here comes the fucking Oscar. What's going on? What happened? Call police, please. Get off Call police. 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 Get off of me. 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 I guess the point is don't start shit if you can't finish it. <clears throat> Mm. We really, <clears throat> I mean, for basically throughout the video, we don't have to watch the whole damn thing, but she's she's continuing to play the victim, and, and she's asking for, she later on asked this guy for the fucking recording as if it helps prove her fucking point. Um, people well, people me, just don't me, understand. You can't go swinging on someone and not expect to get swung back on. The, 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 the difference is, though, is she probably, she might not understand at least uh, when the recording started. Like she might, you know, she just looked up and saw the recordings. Like, oh, finally they're filming because you know I got they, the guy threw me down or whatever. She yeah, probably doesn't she, understand she's, that she's on, you know, film with like a what's that like a wood block or something? Yeah, it was a looked like a about a foot long piece of two by four. Hmm. Okay, we got more people here. Get off of him. Okay, that's good. Get him off of him. 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 He is being a little bit overzealous about holding her ass to the fucking ground i mean well i like i i can i can understand that uh i understand what you mean man but it's also she's she's trying to leave and she's also getting up and still like trying to swing at him oh i understand yeah so, but I it's mean, obvious now yeah. that he you know if, if she does that he's already shown that he will pop her back so i i say i don't know with all the witnesses they say they got the license plate and all that shit there's no i don't know if there's a there's a degree. I, I guess it's up to him, really. He's the one that got got fucking punches thrown at him. Right. But 
for me, after uh, after I popped her a couple times and put her on the ground and fucking warned her, made sure everyone had the license plate or whatever it is, if I wanted to fucking call the cops or press charges. You know, it's 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 weird though, man. Like the thing is with the cops, like I honestly, for, for my experience with, and you know, I've never been in a situation like this, but like the one where they, you know, they stole the money out of my account and everything like that. The cops will not look into that. The cops will never do anything about that. Even though, like, I have the transcript showing that the money was stolen from this time at this place, at this ATM. Hmm. They, they can track all that shit down, but as long as that money is insured, they don't give a shit. Yeah. And and in, huh. a, in a situation like, like this, even, if they get, you know, because there's technically no damage done to the car where she kicked it and everything, I don't think the cops will do anything. The cops m more than likely would just be like, oh, well, you know, they'll come out and they'll... They'll ask the guy what happened. The, the woman will already be gone, and it's kind of they, they chalk it up to like, well, there was no loss here, so who cares? But she did well, hit him. She, yeah, she assaulted him. Yeah, and, I mean, but she did. But she she left. I mean, it's I'm saying it's it kind of I it could go either way. Like the cop, if the cop wanted to go in and look into it, they could. But if they didn't, they could just be like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I it mean that's sucks, the, but, at the cop's discretion. Um, you know, should. We've had shit stolen from us, uh, like a GPS out of a car and shit like that. And, uh, you know, the cops are pretty much like, yeah, it's pretty much gone. You know, <laughs> you're you're not ever going to see it again. So lock, lock, lock up, get an alarm, do whatever. Don't keep the GPS in the car. Those are basically your options. No. The, the cops care very much about certain things and not at all about most of the shit that we would want we personally would want them to care about. Yeah, I, I think a lot of that is, you know, unless it's big things. I'm not saying cops, you know, they aren't like, you know, interested in murder and, you know, things like that. But it's, it seems to be a lot of it is just like, how much time and effort are we going to have to put into this shit? Uh, oh, it, dude, it, I've, I've seen quick. cops spend much more energy uh, giving me shit over like weed or paraphernalia than they ever did to try and like um, resolve uh, fights. I've been at, at shows where like fights have broken out, and it's been it's obvious that like w you know one person is the aggressor or whatever. Cops don't even care. They like they basically split it up, kick a couple people out, and everyone have a good night. Whereas if you have a joint in your pocket, then all of a sudden it requires like you know ten pages of paperwork and and a court date and all kinds of but, stupid but, but, shit uh, but kind of do, do you see what I mean though like for instance if a cop pulls you over and you have a joint on you is as, as retarded as that is that people still get punished for weed as retarded as that is like the cop there's a joint on you so it's like okay I've got this guy with this you know it's like that's almost like dead set when you go to a crowd and there's a fight and everybody's telling you different shit and stuff it's like okay we might actually have to investigate something you know what I mean it's I'm not Which saying, is, I'm not saying it it's the freaking. That's kind of the the point, though. The cop's job is not just to take the easy right, shit. Right. Right. No. 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 I, I I totally agree. I'm just saying, you know, that like that's why it seems to me like in in a lot of those situations, it's like, okay, what's going to be the simplest thing? What was the damage done? You know, like they. It seems like they calculate all that kind of shit in. Yeah, I, I've seen enough videos of cops who don't even know the fucking law that they're supposed to be upholding. That uh, even you know even when when they do try and give you advice or whatever half the time they're fucking wrong about that shit and it's look it's it's not necessarily all their fault there's a lot to fucking know so um long. but yeah. but it sucks to get advice from a cop who who's giving you shit you know it's not nearly true uh legally um shit like that it's i've had i've had cops give me a ticket and tell me that um um you know like a speeding ticket or whatever and then, and then, uh, basically, they're supposed to give you your options. Like, you can just admit your guilt, take a class, or take it to court. And this guy was like, you know, basically said that. And then they, they're supposed to leave it at that. And but he added some like, you know, and if you take it to court, I'll, you know, I'll win. I'll embarrass your ass. Blah 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 blah. Like that's like a threat. Like not to freaking pursue it to, in court if if I wanted to. And that I mean that kind of shit's not all right. You're you're. In fact, that's illegal. You're, the cop is not supposed to like threaten, uh, threaten you not to freaking challenge him in the court of law if you so fucking choose. You know, in traffic court even. It's fine. Whatever. That kind of bullshit that gets on my nerves. Yeah, but I, I was always told that we're supposed, to, we're supposed to hold cops to a higher standard. They're supposed right. to they're supposed to set themselves to a higher standard. They want everyone else to be up to their standards. But you can't ask everyone else to be up to your standards if your standards if you're constantly breaking them yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I was I was always told that uh, if you challenge those things or whatever, at least with 
I guess, like speeding tickets and stuff like that. If you, if you try to fight it and you take it to court and stuff, the cops almost like never show up. So you, they, the judge usually rules in your favor. At least that's how it is here. That's what I've always heard. But, and but and also, by the way, this is not a uh, this is not a like fuck all the cops type of deal. I, I've had plenty of good experiences with cops, but I've also had bad experiences. They're they're just people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, when you know they're they're just people, then you know that they can make mistakes too. And uh, and you have to be, you know, as a fucking officer of the law, you have to be held to a higher standard. Uh, that's basically, you know, your job. Um, well, you want to do a an Aussie man? Oh yeah, this love is, me some Aussie man reviews. This is this guy's uh, a fucking genius. This is non stamp collector reviewing naked guy versus mud. Aussie music festivals aren't about the music, they're about achieving amazing feats of strength. This fella is trying to get up a hill, and he's got a bigger crowd than the bands. Oh, he decides to reset. He's taking a breather, (laughs) rethinking his strategy. He starts to yell out the Braveheart speech, which gets him ready for another battle with this giant mud hill. He also does a war dance to get in the... Does he just have like long matted hair, or is that like a coonskin cap? I think his hair just has a lot of mud in it. Okay. Fucking zone. Now watch him bounce back, ladies and gentlemen. He sprints like a maniac. The mud hill would be terrified, but oh no! He's fucked it up big time. There's nothing to do but tumble down the hill, defeated, dick in hand. Come on, little buddy, you can do this. Here he goes again. Another burst of energy. This is the moment. He's got to make his ancestors proud as fuck. No! Oh, ouch! I just don't want to imagine how grazed the the underside of his penis would be it brings a tear to me glass eye he's definitely had enough of this game yeah nah he's um he's not getting back up Jesus. <laughs> uh, you ever been you're you live in redneck country you ever been to like a mud and hole or wherever where the fucking rednecks are so fucking drunk it's ridiculous and you're like and they're jumping behind the fucking wheel of these big ass trucks doing crazy shit I, I've done I know that of plenty it. I, of times. I don't, I don't. I've never been to one of these places. I don't go mudding, but I, seriously, I don't. But I've, yeah, I've, I've, I don't consider myself like a redneck or anything. But I've I had do. friends that had I, big I, old raised up trucks with mudding tires on them, and you go find just mud bogs, and just freak. Or you, you don't. Need, it doesn't even need to be that bad. It just needs to be like wet and dirt, and you just tear it up until it becomes just a big old mud bog. Yeah. yeah, I used to have a truck, that, but it wasn't anything fancy. No, I'd take we, it out and never, get it stuck all the time, and they'd have to winch my ass out of there. We never did it on, uh, like, my dad, when my dad was, like, a teenager and stuff, they used to go mudding all the time, but we used to do it in, like, four-wheelers. I, I never did it in, like, trucks. <laughs> Not stamp collectors, like, go mudding. So is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, go on YouTube and look up mudding. <laughs> and then after you <laughs> look up uh, shrimping. And when you're and then docking, do that. And do it. <laughs> By the way, non stamps. All of his comments have been: Does this happen around you? He sees the woman getting beat up. Does this follow you around? You know, it, 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 you know, just all these questions about the insanity of our okay. American yes. lives. Yeah. But that last one was clearly Australian. This is this is the price you pay for freedom, my friend. <laughs> It is. You live with these people. Yeah, well, yeah. In Australia, they're they're pretty fucking free. <laughs> they have their own crazies, but I don't think it happens quite as often as over here. Let's see. This is kid has skills. That kid's got skills, but I want to say non-stamp collector just said he's like shrimping. I know from Forrest Gump. <laughs> Do you guys know what shrimping is? Oh God, yeah. Look, go ahead and Google that shit. Safe search off. This kid no. is twelve, by the way. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> Darn man. I remember saying the same thing I am, man. Like, the little bastard is three. Yeah. Because when I was a little kid, you know, I, I, 
tried out skateboarding a little bit. I, I wasn't a skater or anything, but my brother had a skateboard. I couldn't even fucking bunny hop the thing. And his kids like got three stacked high. Bunny you know, he's doing all these tricks. You mean, I don't even understand how he can do it. You mean Ollie? Is that what a bunny hop is? Or is that <laughs> something else? Huh? What they're doing is Ollie's yeah. bunny hops are on bikes. Oh, okay. And then I say I don't know the lingo. I broke my arm doing a bronco over a fucking six foot gap. That's like a bronco, like doing a wheelie and coming up and trying to just fucking jump straight from the back tire over a fucking six foot gap, and I I lost my shit and broke my arm. I was getting too big for them fucking bikes anyway. Yeah, but yeah. I do not know all the lingo. I cannot tell you exactly what kind of kick flips he's doing. All right, I did I did a straight up kicky swizzle on the fly over a forty two foot Cali wag, and you tell me <laughs> that you can beat that. A Cali wag? That was totally knock off of Cali wag, and you know. Yeah, I, I was thinking you were gonna say like, <laughs> dude, I did a a Gillette Mach five. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It just it makes you more streamlined. Kids though. got fucking skills, man. Yeah. I love the old get, school vans too. You can get sucked into uh, YouTube binge watching vortex of kids being skaters, skater kids being attacked by assholes. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember uh, back in the day, like when I was in high school, man. I used to watch the Mike Valley. Is that that dude's name? Mike Valley. Yeah. Yeah, that he guy's to, a beast. He used to get in like uh, like those dudes would be talking shit to him or whatever, and he'd he'd get in like fist yeah, he'd take on him. like five guys and win. He, remember, he was yeah, a beast. I, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna mention this, but um, in like twelve or thirteen minutes, it's gonna be my motherfucking birthday. Oh yeah, that's right. My uh, my little update thing chime. You know uh, what is it called to remind me of your birthday? Everybody. On, uh, Everybody send TJ a dick pic for his birthday. <laughs> what what update chimed? On my computer, my com you know, every once in a while, your computer goes doo doo. It's so and so's birthday tomorrow. On what though? Skype? Fuck, I don't know. I think it's Windows. It, Windows knows my birthday on your computer. <laughs> yeah, <That's> terrifying. <laughs> it's, I Windows... think it. I think it gets the info. It might get the info off of my contacts list on Skype or something. I don't know. It's all hooked together. Everything is part of the system now. <laughs> it's becoming self-aware. Yeah. yeah. This, this is, what is what is it? Uh, Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne systems. It all started off when Windows learned about Cocktopus's birthday. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'll be uh, be thirty-five. Oh, fucking God. spring chicken, motherfucker! You old bastard. Shit. Jesus Drew Christ. Drew is baby baby Dewey over here. <laughs> I'm still in my twenties, bitch. God damn no, it. really? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I am I am twenty eight. I will be twenty nine July. You it doesn't it, he doesn't look like he's still in his twenties because of the way he's done his body, you know? <laughs> Shiners really put the years oh, on God, you. God, they're wreaking havoc. I'm hitting the big four zero in a couple months. Damn. Ouch. Dude, you think it's time to move on from drawing stupid cartoons and kind of grow <laughs> up a little bit? <laughs> the, uh, like Dark Matter strikes me as the type of dude that still like wears like Spider Man underwear. You know what I mean? Definitely, he's definitely got his name written in his underwear still. Wait, yeah. you wear underwear? Oh God! <laughs> oh, or Jesus. Find, find his bed sheets or Spider Man. How about that? He's free balding, free balding. Get it? Free balding. Even Dark Matter's balls are bald. Exactly that too. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's let's try to play a little bit. What you got? Um, let's Lulz clip. Lulz clips. <laughs> I've been really trying. 
I, I, what just, the fuck was wrong with that guy? Just, just to make sure, <laughs> dude. I've I've seen it before, where uh, a guy, a guy freaking ran into a stop sign, and him and all his friends like took turns beating up the stop sign, like jokingly, you know, like like oh yeah, oh yeah, take this. I've uh, yeah, this is classic. This is something I would do in public if I ran into something like this. I would totally like grab it and pole dance around it or some shit. And he's bald too. Oh God. Whoa, whoa. What? Lady no. It's like a it's like a it's like one of those things where it's like a, a sexy woman, you know, just being like some sexy pose and shit just goes horribly wrong. <laughs> well, to be honest, if she went up like that in front of me, my balls would be on top of her, too. Mm. That sounds like something I would expect from a, a fucking shit lord. Where is Mr. Yeah, there he is. Not Why do you go no. straight to the to the fucking nuclear option? It's, you know, there's all kinds of little fucking escalations, but no, straight to the nuke. Hey, I'm Katie McFarland. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do you not notice that? All right, yeah, it was me. It was before I went bald. This, you're muted, TJ. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry, this is a uh, this is the accident that led to dark matters. <laughs> Tragic. Current predicament. Tragic. Yeah. <laughs> that he doesn't notice it is. is no, not at all. <laughs> Was that last girl's name Kate McFarlane? McFarlane? Someone's po- trying to point that out. Hi, I'm Katie McFarland. Farland. 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 Close. Damn. Video? Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, whoa. Oh, shit. That is Ouch. great. <laughs> Dude, that was all face, man. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Ouch. Don't write on that. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best. Like, I'm so guilty. Don't write on that. <laughs> yeah, in the way that kids are fucking great. In the way that lady said it. Yeah, the little shock in that kid's face. That yet. Don't write on that. There's like so many syllables. <laughs> Both hands straight to it, not even looking. Okay, mom. Uh, yeah, uh, she's being a, a little bit, you know, too mean there. Come on. Oppressive. Oh, no. Stifling I told you, I told you how I dealt with uh, my daughter forgetting to flush the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you I'll, did? I'll put pictures. Yeah, man. He said I'll put pictures I, of this shit on Facebook. I told her I was going to start taking pictures and showing it with, to her friends and stuff. Oh, God. She was ba- Dude, I, I told her that once, and I don't think she's forgotten to flush since. It was like a <laughs> perfect fucking thing to say. Sometimes she probably just gets up at random at any time and just flushes an empty <laughs> toilet. In her sleep and shit. <laughs> Has nightmares about her friends like, Ew, that's a big poop. <laughs> Kids are hilarious. It's true. Uh, uh, everything but is one's good. enough. Everything is better with doodles. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the 
fuck was that? That's, uh, it's sugar on the fucking like froth of a coffee. Ah. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> that the cabbage were terrified. Yeah, the like, corgi like ripped the face off of one was, of them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was the? Uh, there was a there was a clip. It was supposed to be like for a movie or something. It was like vegetables or whatever. Do you remember this? It was like ve- it was like vegetables and stuff, and like people would buy it at the res- the grocery store and they'd bring it home, and they'd keep it in the fridge and stuff like that. And it's like the vegetables, you know, it's like a cartoon movie, and they can all talk, but then wait. they start getting like cooked in food and stuff and it's like horrific. Uh, no that was uh yeah we watched the preview for that yeah yeah what was what was that um it's a movie coming out food food, food. or something was it food sausage party sausage That's party what? sausage party. party we should have remembered that one drew i don't remember what show. yeah veggie tales that was it <laughs> <laughs> christian shit Go back and let me see that fucking corgi rip the face off of that cabbage one one last time. It was fucking epic. Look how horrified they all look. (laughs) (laughs) Why is that dog so mad at cabbage? I don't know. He doesn't like it, though. (laughs) Good form. Dude, everything is better with doodles. I agree. Yeah, that cabbage was pretty good, though. Yeah, the cabbage one was definitely my favorite. All right, you ready to break it up? Ah, it's break 30. And by the way, hey, I found out that it is Saint Chef. Saint Chef. I saw saw his, uh, on YouTube, his avatar. And it's it's a fucking chef hat with, like, a halo around it. So it's definitely Saint Chef. Do you ever, like, wonder where, like, a lot of these people come up with their, you know, their names? Like, their screen names, you know? Like, I see uh, all, uh, it, It's, I, I see mean, all for Christ's sake, mine, mine is fucking Cocktopus Prime, for fuck's sake. We all know Dark Matter. <laughs> Dark Matter was, he's, he's like, I picked 2525 because it was in some song I heard. <laughs> fucking, he's like, I didn't know I was going to have a fucking half a million subscribers. Otherwise, I would have called myself. What What would you have called yourself if you had a chance to rename your channel? Uh, I, that is, I have no idea. The bald fuck. Mm, what if I decide to grow hair? Then you don't. Then you still think I'm don't, stupid. The, don't the act animator like, formerly known as the bald no, fuck. No, 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 no. Don't act like that's an option, Dark Matter. Don't, don't, don't fuck around like that's an option. <sighs> Growing hair. Uh, you could you could always go pay and have them hair plugs put in. If we bought you a can of like that spray on hair, would you uh would you try it live on the show? Dude, th- doesn't the spray on hair just like pretty much like paint the little bit of hair that you have? Yeah, well no, it I mean it's basically to cover up a bald spot, right? Yeah. You have a bald <laughs> spot, you just kind of paint it, but since your bald spot is your whole head, you would just kind of have to like I would need a template to put over my head (laughs) oh jesus christ it's still i still to myself like to this day will laugh about drew getting the fucking are you still looking for a great deal on pussy wigs 
Oh yeah. I still <laughs> like that will run through my head just randomly, and I will laugh no matter what, no matter where I am. <laughs> Think about uh, Drew getting a getting a fucking push notification from from eBay. Like, hey, you still interested in that fucking red pussy wig? <laughs> we found a better deal. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> delete, delete. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's break. Yeah, let's take a break here. Uh, we will be back. We have a final hour. And that's enough to get us a copyright for Led Zeppelin. Uh-huh. Led Zeppelin fucking. Uh-huh. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if that Go song ahead. triggers anybody who's scared of Syrians. Because, you know, it's like Im- it's called the Immigrant Song. <laughs> Build a wall. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, I, I, I believe Drew's going to let you get away with that one. Oh, I am. I think Shives is taking a piss right now. <coughs> you non-gendered your uh, porta potty. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's give some away. Um, I've got a uh, a button here in my hand. Whoever can tell me who's featured on this button wins it. I think I know the answer, but I'm not gonna say it. Boom! 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 boom, boom. Oh wow! Mr. Saint Chef got it. He was just talking about Trump before that too. What the? Hell? What are you doing with that? Um, I actually have some other ones too that are. Um, it says it's it's Trump's face like with the uh, like the uh, the old Obama style, the hope uh-huh. one, but it says nope on the bottom and it's got his hair over like uh, Eddie. What is, what's his name from uh, Kingpin? Big Ernie. You no, know, Big Ernie, yeah, yeah. He's got his hair like the big flip on it, just like that. But I'm not, that. that's too awesome. I'll have to wait and give that away later. So, congratulations, Saint Chef. Thank you for your patronage, and I hope you enjoy your Trump pin. You can uh, do as you please with that shit. What are you going to do about voting? Who are you going to vote for? I know you don't like either of them, so. Um, I, I've. I've made the argument before that I think there should be a an option for um, like to vote no confidence. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, since that's not an option, uh, if I'm going to vote, I, I've decided that uh, there's no such thing as like a wasted vote unless you are voting for someone that you don't actually support. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll write in or possibly vote for Jill Stein or something like that. Um, but if I if I'm going to take the time to vote, it sure as fuck is not going to be for Hillary. And it can't be. It can't it just can't be for Trump. Uh, no matter how pessimistic I am, and I want to see the shit hit the fan and and all that shit. Quite honestly, I think Trump will win. Um, but I'm not. Go- that that's not enough for me to vote for fucking Hillary. That lesser of two evils shit just does not appeal to me uh, in any way. If you said I had to choose between fucking Hitler and Stalin. You know what I mean? Like that, that I'm not going to choose one of those because I find them less evil than the other. What I would really be interested in knowing is what Hillary is actually like, because I don't. Yeah, no, no matter what image she presents, yeah. it's it's just fake. It's yeah. phony. I want to know what she's like behind closed doors. Yeah. Well, whereas Trump, on the other hand, you know damn well that he thinks and speaks at like a fourth grade fucking level. Uh, I, I, I've had I've had a lot of over the past couple of weeks, uh, the last few months I've I've kind of been on this thing of like because I've I've dude, I've been like that for almost a year now where it's the left has just constantly been pissing me off more and more and more and and uh, it's gotten to the point man and I've I've honestly looked at because I have a lot of people that comment on my videos and stuff like that that are Trump fans and I've looked at a lot of the stuff he says and stuff like that and uh, actually like looking into it and stuff and if if I do vote. Which now I'm, I'm thinking is a little more likely than it was before, but I, I probably will most likely vote for Trump because Trump. I mean, uh, and I, I actually Armored Skeptic did a video today that was like right on par with what I was, what I've said recently. Oh yeah, I and saw this uh, video. Like very like, the thing is, I mean, dude, there's no shortage of shit that I could disagree with the guy on, but dude, uh, the it, the t- the rap that that the media gives them and stuff like that is not. 
Dude, he he gets himself into and he says some things, stupid shit. His some things, but his they, actual they solutions are just fucking like buzzwords and uh, and shit that that is, convince simpletons. No, the the, th- the thing is, a lot of that that he's talking and stuff like that that's calculated in the sense that it's when you're when you're especially when you're campaigning for like the Republican side, right? And you're with sixteen other people. How are you going to stand out? A lot of that comes to, and that's the same reason that Trump has spent t- their uh, their campaign has spent about ten million dollars on campaign ads, but he's got two billion in free press and stuff like that. It's yeah, because he well, says, look, I can understand the appeal uh, th- th- totally, and and it's I guess the same way the, the same appeal that the left uh, should have had for for Bernie Sanders that like anti-establishment, like you know, bullshit, the the kind of shit that that. Obama promised us was going to fucking change and didn't at all. We see, I, I, <laughs> and, I see, but I see on, honestly, different than that. Um, I, I, I cannot bring myself to vote for fucking Trump. Uh, quite honestly, Hillary or Trump, they're both fucking terrible. It's not moving us in, I think, the right uh, direction at all. In fact, it'll be pretty stagnant. The thing about Hillary is we know what she's like in office. We don't know what Trump will be like in office, so he no, at sure. least, I guess, has that going for him. I'm pretty sure that he'll ruin that pretty quickly. Right. Well, uh, with with Trump, I would say the differences between Trump and Bernie Sanders. What Bernie Sanders was trying to do is a, and it's it's uh, totally respect. I don't like Bernie Sanders, but it's totally respectable to a sense that Bernie Sanders was trying to change, like establishment politics and stuff like that. You know, uh, money out of government and things like that. What Trump represents is actually the cultural difference. The uh, you know the political correctness and things like that that, that that's not that, enough, dude. That's, it's, it's for not me, enough, that's not enough. a president cannot yeah, just be that. the like. Oh, I don't like politically correct I shit, so vote that. for yeah. vote for me. That's and not I, and enough. And like totally, the shit that he, it, the okay. the way he talks. If you take what like his answers to questions and put them in text form, it reads like a kid doing a book report on a book he didn't read. No, but you see a lot of that is so generalized like it's going to be great it's going to be awesome yes. the best people wonderful even, people i promise even, i promise it'll be great we're going to we're going to make things great i promise you like that why. that that to me is just it's it's but music even, to dumb people's ears no it's 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 because it's when you're doing this thing in the the way like the me, the media works if you stand there on a on a stage with 16 other contenders and you're trying to go into depths of politics and things like that nobody gives a shit Nobody cares. Well, that's, like a, when, that's a problem with people and yeah, the, and the well, media, that's, that's I guess. The reality, like, that's the reality with Trump voters. being able to take advantage of it is not enough to get me to no, vote no, for him. But the thing is, here's the difference. Trump actually has policy. He does. Because I've, I've been and I've looked into Trump's yes, policy. He has ideas. They're tremendous. They're wonderful. They're great. They're the best ideas no, that what, anyone that's has what, ever had. That's what, that's what gets you through the door because the guy's a businessman. The guy know has to sell, he knows how to sell oh, this product. It, from where, from where I stand, brand... he's got a damn good chance of fucking winning and we'll get to see yeah, from there. Because is... I don't see how the president can just like solve PC shit. No, that's, but, because that's <laughs> it's certainly not, not going to not gonna be anything that, not, that he that's... fucking actually does. No, that's not it. That's that's not it. It's not just about not being politically correct. The political correctness actually goes into the policy. The stuff that they told, uh, that they told Donald Trump, like, dude, you will never get anywhere if you do that. He did it, and he's did he's broke the record for Republican votes. The and most, the more dumb shit he says, the more dumb people no, fucking not, support him. Not, yeah, I not, agree. It's not dumb shit. Like his his like the border policies and stuff like that, wanting to do things about illegal immigration at a time where. Unemployment is at a high rate, and wages are being driven down by illegal immigration. It's, and and it's I've always said that the number one you, way you deal with fucking illegal immigration is to make sure that employers are not fucking hiring them, because then that takes away the fucking the incentive to fucking come here in the first place if you can't get fucking hired. One potential like problem that. I see with that, though, is that an increase in crime, though, because if you can't make money and you're desperate... I mean, and then we we've locked criminals up and then fucking deport their asses. Like there there's like this wall. Do you, are you for the wall now, Drew? You think that's a great idea? I don't think the wall's the wall is not necessarily a bad idea. It depends on if if you're saying like building a wall is absolutely going. That's all we have to do about illegal immigration. Then no, absolutely not. That's his answer. That's his answer to pretty much no, everything. It's, We're it's, gonna build a wall. No, the his, wall. His, is, his, is, his, I, I don't know. I, you can. I guess you can look deeper into the shit he's saying, but just yeah, actual policy. I mean, yeah, it's, it's so obvious. Like it's just so obviously 
pandering to stupid people. Um, the the way the way that he talks that I cannot, uh, I can't respect him. Uh, like the points he does make, he still makes them at, at a fucking totally juvenile level, and and the people that he fucking like garner his support at that level are are plentiful. There are not. Um, I would say there are more people who are just like who like being told whatever, or they are just uh, like cult of personality type people. Then actually look deep into his fucking policies, of which, by the way, uh, it's just jibber jabber at this point. Well, like you, he hasn't actually, even. Have you actually uh, looked into how he like his foreign policy and shit like that? I would love to see how he fucking treats uh, other uh, countries and their presidents no, I'm, I'm, I'm and whatever. Curious. Has have have people have people here actually looked into, for instance, the whole thing about getting Mexico to pay for the wall? Have you looked into his plan for actually how he's going to do it with the tariffs and shit? No, he's going to. Uh, the first thing that they're going to do is you got to actually provide proof of citizenship if you're going to send money back from America back to the country that you immigrated from. That's the first thing you're going to do. You actually have to prove citizenship. And aside from that, they're going to start increasing the uh, the fees on the work visas because we lose, I think, about twenty four billion dollars. I think they say every was it every month, if I'm remembering right, that we lose from workers coming from Mexico across the border and working here and stuff like that because Mexico has no social safety net. They don't have anything like that. So what we what, this is one of the reasons that illegals get to stay here is they come over on temporary work visas. Then when those visas expire, they just stay here, and nobody knows. And that's that's one of the that's, that's one of the that's that's a problem in, in a lot of countries. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, but but it's also in America's best interest to try to make sure that this isn't happening. I'm I'm not supporting you, you people I mean? who are here illegally. I'm just more concerned about the way you actually go about solving the problems, and I don't think. Um, building a giant fucking wall. Um, I, I, I appreciate the what you were talking about before uh, with um, in, maybe increasing fees or being much more strict on the visas or something like that if that's going to be a problem. I, I like that kind of idea rather than literally putting up a barrier and, and like, I honestly, like, we already have that. But it's going to have a big, beautiful door. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, look, it's it's not that I'm uh, trying to shit on people who support Trump. Go for it, fine. I just cannot bring myself uh, hearing all of the shit he said and the way that he says it. It's and it's the same for Hillary. And I've had cringe moments for every fucking candidate. It's just a matter of having like a bunch of cringe moments versus occasional cringe moments. And and that's going to be the way it is with pretty much everybody. I'm sure there are people here who, like, they, they love my videos or whatever, but they've heard me say shit and I made them cringe. Guess what? I mean, that's that's life. We're not all going to agree with each other all the time. But with Trump, when, when if and when uh, he becomes president, I see so much cringe. It's going to be... It's, going to be the the dumbness of George W. Bush mixed with like some balls and it's right. it's going to be oh i i and, think and it's going to be I'm not in love with the guy. And entertaining I, as I'm, fuck well I'm plenty of material that's I'm, for sure I'm, I'm not you know like just fucking all over myself in love with the guy but i mean if i i think at least for this if you chalk the guy up as just being like a, a dumbass i think you're really missing something I think that the way that he communicates and the people that he garners support from are very often dumbasses. Yes, I, I think that, um, it, like I said, take his answers to questions or like um, portions of speeches he's made and put them into text form. So he's not saying it. So you're actually just reading it. And it, it is the possibly the dumbest. If someone left a comment like that on one of your videos, you would immediately assume they were a complete fucking idiot. But when Trump says it, he garners the support because he's got like this cult of personality shit going on. You put it into text form, like it, like <clears throat> it's a comment on a YouTube video, and I guarantee you, you'd be calling out their bullshit. Yeah. Well, just like what, like I said about Hillary, like I wonder what she's like behind closed doors. Come to think of it, I I wonder the same thing about Trump because, you know, good businessmen and women. I don't I don't want to be sexist. Um, they 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 tone shift. You know, like like a like a f an executive might talk about how you know he speaks very differently at a board meeting w amongst a bunch of other executives than when he's down like on the factory floor shooting the shit. You know, then he'll start swearing and being all, you know, one of the guys. 
it's uh, someone someone in the fucking chat uh what is it tumby tumby panther Go, google it dude I, I i don't have that shit right in front of me right now google like trump quotes in text form or some shit like that do, do yourself a favor where it actually it gives look chunks like a paragraph of shit he said or answers to question it just doesn't make any fucking sense doesn't answer the question at all hmm uh, um, just, that kind but, of shit but bothers me. Like, yeah. no, nobody, nobody should be taking either of any, uh, any three of us. You shouldn't be taking our words for it. You should be looking this shit yeah. up. Look, look it up. I, I do not, uh, unfortunately, uh, line up all the citations of shit that I might fucking reference or might come up in the podcast uh, before the show. Uh, nor do we take the time to fucking like leave all the links to all the videos in the description. Guess what? That's time consuming as fuck. Uh, if if I was having a back and forth in the comments section about uh, about this, I would easily give you a link. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing and look it up right now. You are free to do that. Uh, you know, dumb Trump quotes or whatever the fuck <clears throat> it is you want to look up. Uh, it's basically anything he said, just transcribed into text form. That's the, the thing that made me cringe recently about Hillary was her recent ad on her YouTube channel. Um, where she goes through all these tremendous, these great historical moments, you know, with the women's, women's, the suffragettes, you know, and the women's rights to vote and, you know, the, the civil rights movement. And, you know, she goes through all these things. And then she, when she gets to herself, she's like, let's keep making history. Oh, uh, bitch, you just want people to vote for you because you have a fucking vagina now. That's pathetic. Let's keep making history. That's um. Well, I mean, I mean, why not vote for Sarah Palin then? I mean, come on. Exactly. I'm vo I'm not voting for somebody because of their genitals. I will I will be happy to vote for a woman for a woman if she's not you. I mean, I I I, I well, a woman that, that's, that's not true because if it was, you just said Sarah Palin, yeah, a woman I said uh, I would be happy to vote for a woman fucking, that's not you. I mean, you Sarah Palin sucks. that's not Sarah Palin either. I I would want a, a decent Total. person. Total sexist. That's two women you wouldn't vote for. Or Carly Fiorona, I wouldn't oh, vote for her. Or what's the what's what's crazy this, neck? Uh, Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman. Four, four. <laughs> God, so, so, he knew what I was talking about. So there, about. there's four women. Crazy. Four women. Dark Matter would not vote for. Think about four that. women, but you know I could come up Fucking with much more men that I wouldn't vote for. Fucking shit, Lord. I, w I wouldn't vote. Oh, and, for and that. you could come up with more male examples too. So, yeah. so what you're saying is you just hate everybody. Yeah, you, f dude, sh total. Sh you're wait a second. I think somebody is pondering something about what Dark Matter just said. Don't you, Drew? Oh, for fuck's sake! What's that all about? Yeah, huh? He's like, so four women you wouldn't vote for just because they have a vagina. Mm -hmm. would, well, yeah, that's true. God and slaves. I would not vote for Ann Coulter either. So that's five. <laughs> Ann and Coulter. Uh, if you want to vote for Ann Coulter, you just draw her uh, her body profile. So it's basically just a single line straight down. A stick figure? Stick. Well, not even a stick figure. It's just a line. Just a line. <laughs> straight up and down. Honestly, uh, for the voting thing, um, I, I don't know if you guys are comfortable saying who you're going to vote for or whatever, but I, I think I'm, I'm probably going to vote Jill Stein. Um. Or write in, like, look for the for the when I said, don't you can uh, the only way you can really waste your vote is to vote for someone you don't truly support. I mean, you can obviously waste your vote by voting for like Mickey Mouse or something like that. But uh, like, I honestly believe like if, if the point of voting is not to vote for the winner or or the mm -hmm. the choice of two people and you can't stand either one and you just go with the one you can't stand less. There's that's that to me is a wasted vote. Well, if I mean, if I don't like Hillary so much that I'm willing to vote for Trump, yeah, but, and but, but don't like Trump either. Honest, that's to me is a wasted honestly, vote. Honestly, like like Jill Stein, if 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 you could pick like any pick you could possibly pick, I mean, dude, there's none of honestly none of us here would pick any of these people. I would. Uh, you're, I would you're probably you're probably would, right, but it's a matter of going from. I agree. I guess there's like that the teetering point, the halfway point, where it's like. I have to agree with you on at least half of the shit you say and your half of your positions. I can't vote for someone because they, they I disagree with them 90% and the other candidate I disagree with 95 of the per percent. That to me is 
you are you are truly wasting your fucking vote by voting for two people that you really don't fucking support. I would I would rather write in Bernie Sanders because I support his policies more yeah, that's who you than vote than for, I would uh, to actually vote for like Hillary or Trump to keep the other one out of office. There, one of them is going to make it. By the way, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm not in any delusion that like the way I'm thinking is the way that the fucking country thinks. I I don't I don't I know that that I'm talking about me personally how I feel about vote because it's changed a lot. I'll be honest. Like the way I've I've gone from you got you should vote whether it's for the lesser of two be, two evils to like don't even bother fucking voting to and now I've moved more in the like if you're gonna vote at least make it for something you believe in. Yeah, yeah, and this is uh, uh, Peachy. Peachy just said this about in the chat. How about we stop attacking each other here, please? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I've I've thought about this a lot, man, and I I don't know if it's just because you know I'm like a a typically left or liberal leaning atheist from fucking Texas. But I'm used to disagreeing with everybody, so it's like no skin off my back. Yeah. I don't get pissed when people disagree. It's no bacon off Drew's back. No, it's not. It's like, <laughs> dude, who who cares? I'll guarantee you this. If you ran a fucking cactus and a cowboy hat for a Republican Party, my state would still go red. Oh, absolutely. Okay? Like, my vote uh, my, my state anyway. continuously votes in people like fucking uh, Rick Scott. Oh God! Just, okay, I just made a video on that earlier today. Of Rick Scott asking, you know, saying the most important thing we can do for the Orlando fucking shooting victims and their families is pray for them. Fucking empty suit, dude. It it's and then Marco Rubio said this could have happened anywhere. It was just Orlando's turn. <laughs> As if we all take fucking turns with mass right, shootings right, right. now. Uh, peachy, Peachy, yeah, I know. I know Peachy meant in the chat. She wasn't talking about us. I know she was talking about it in the chat. I'm, I'm saying in the uh, in in the, in the chat and everything. It's like, dude, it's. I, I understand like totally disagreeing and stuff like that. Of course, dude. If you're if you're a if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter, I can totally understand how you would not be cool with a someone voting Trump. And if you're a Trump supporter, you're not going to like people voting for Bernie. Sanders. I totally understand that. I'm totally fine with it. I'm, I just just uh, I, vote for whoever. It, the let's just have a modicum of respect, I guess. Put it that way, because Drew and, and, and I and are obviously disagree, disagreeing yeah. on this shit, and we yeah. still are able to not. I'm not just calling him a, a retard or anything like that. Yeah, like, like how hard is it? It's just. <laughs> what was the one you said that one time? You were like, you know, and uh, Drew, he 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 made he made some good arguments. You know, he th he threw some good stuff out there. I'm like, oh, you condescending bitch. <laughs> like, Dude, my, my favorite was right. that uh, after we had that like hour long back and forth about the fucking nukes in right. Japan, right. and and then I, then people were like whoa whoa guys ease up and I'm like yo calm down we're, it's not like we're gonna end the show over some fucking shit that happened sixty years ago <laughs> you know what I mean I mean, we're we are uh, you I guess you could say we're we're a little bit above that Drew and I have uh, disagreed with each other before and we do it with a modicum of respect. And I hope that everyone in the in the chat can do the same. Uh, we're all just, I mean, look, agree or disagree or whatever, but don't be, uh, I guess, a complete a complete douchebag. You can be a douchebag. We're all douchebags. Just don't be a complete fucking asshat, and uh, and everyone will be happy. We've got a lot of smart people here, and they're more than willing to have a back and forth with you without all the stupid bullshit. Yeah, totally, man. It's all about. Uh, Paul says, "Fuck you, Sasquatch." Ah, uh, fuck you, Ginger. But yeah, dude, it's all about, you know, conversation and stuff, and where I know that's one of the things I defend TJ on, and TJ would probably, I would imagine, say the same thing about me. I hope he would. He's kind of a dick, but he probably would. That, uh, you know, we're totally open to having our minds changed, dude. I change my mind all the time. Dude, on politics, Absolutely. my mind is constantly just... Yeah, I, I just, I, yeah, I just told you about my, how I've moved with my view on voting, because it, <clears throat> it things change. Um, I've had my my views changed on guns, um, yeah. not not in the sense that I'm like all oh, some Second Amendment dipshit. Uh, no no offense, Paul, <clears throat> but uh, like you know I I am not I'm not trying to take your guns or anything. For a long time, I was like, you know, I was a lot more anti-gun, and now I'm I'm not as anti-gun, but I still think there should be better regulations and shit. I've I've changed my arguments thanks to people like Paul. Yeah. Who have have been very patient with me about a lot of things, and and taken the time to you know have a back and forth, and even though Paul and I have had some heated discussions, I respect Paul, and what he was saying to me did stick. And I'm one of those people like when you make a good point, 
man, it'll stick with me and I'll, I'll play it over and over and over and I'll sit there and, and if I can't, if I can, don't have a decent argument, then it's time to fucking change my position. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm proud to do that. I'm proud to admit when I'm wrong because it means I'm moving in the right fucking direction, uh, at least as far as like being an honest intellectual. Uh, and this is, this, is, this is one of the things I've thought about, man. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of these, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers and stuff that are like, you know, and kind of, I guess, fall in our circles and everything. And the thing is, when I go back and watch videos of theirs from like five, six years ago, something like that, and they're still agreeing with themselves, and like they never change from that. It's it, like even if I agree with them on what they're saying, it's just it. It's like how how are you ever in that that position where you just it's like you you were right off the bat or whatever, and that you just stayed there. You know what I mean? See, yeah. the um, you could tell that. Drew and TJ are full of shit right now because no, out of all of the brilliant arguments I've come up with, I'm still sitting here with shives. So no, they don't respect great arguments that change minds. Not one bit. We're, 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 we've got you sitting next to the arbiter of changing his mind when <laughs> yeah. you mean you mean the <laughs> the arbiter falling into the vortex of cult i man i will not this is before all the bullshit hit the fan right i'll never forget i because i used to watch all of uh steve shy's videos on um like an atheist reads man i used to listen to that shit while i like clean the house and stuff and yeah. i'll never forget when i clicked on his fucking video and in the description, and it was the the comment he had left on his own video as well, was basically um, disagreeing. You're blocked, and I, I wasn't. I, I don't even think I was disagreeing with him at that point. He wasn't like going totally off the deep end. And I, but I, I immediately saw that, and I was like, "I'll save you the time." And I un just unsubscribed because I just I can't deal with people that are that. Um, just that fickle. Uh, uh, it, what, no matter no matter what it is, you, you should have the understanding that when you are putting your fucking views out there, there are going to be disagreements, and acting like a child does nothing to uh, strengthen your arguments. Uh, dark matter. He he basically went full shock of God. I, he I mean, went he's... full every fucking like Venom Fang X used to be like that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like that, you just, I, you instantly lose a huge chunk of fucking respect. Drew, if you tomorrow started fucking doing that shit, I would, I'd still love you. You'd still be my buddy, but man, would I, your, your, my respect for you would take a fucking hit. The same for you, Dark Matter. Started, the same for anybody. Started doing what? Huh? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking for a, a tweet that, uh, Dark Matter knows what I'm looking for. You're talking about Shives. Yeah, um, if if you started just you know blocking everyone who disagreed oh, with blank, you and um, and he, he's only interested in talking to people who talking at people I yeah, should that's, say that's who I'm, already agree with him. That's why I'm looking yeah. for that that fucking damn it uh, that link I sent you on Twitter. Uh, uh, oh, his Facebook post. God, he blamed the the the. Uh, Dude, shooting in Orlando can, can on our it? homophobia. Can you can you find it? Wait, our? Yeah. Yeah. On our homophobia. Yeah. You mean like as a nation? Yeah. Yeah. Western what, America's Western, homophobia. Western yeah. culture's homophobia is what did that. Yeah. That's dude. No, no, no. The well, thing is, well, about look, I can, his his. I'll, I'll look. I'll admit this much. While you're looking for that shit, uh, that Rick Scott in his entire address, even when it was brought up to him uh, that it was um, like aimed at towards gays, and it, well, I mean, it was a fucking gay club, and the guy had attended the fucking gay club, like scouting it out, and said he was sickened by their actions and shit like that. In case you're not aware of that information coming out, so I mean, like he's. I got the the gay thing definitely has something to do with it, but I certainly wouldn't call it our homophobia as a nation. Otherwise, this shit would be much more common. Yeah, exactly. No, it's his his closing line. Uh, like he, how many paragraphs is this? It's probably eight to ten paragraphs that he lists here. His closing line is note in capital letters. 
please say please save your pro gun and or anti Islam apologetics for somewhere else. I'm not interested. After he gave this whole like like spill about you know fucking dude, and I mean I I, I was actually in a I, I know TJ is not a big fan of uh, atheism as unstoppable. I was in a hangout with him the other day, and I like I had just was sent this on Twitter. And I sent it to him, and we were going over like all, like, do everything that is just horrifically wrong with this. Yeah, I think, he's I think, a he's a what I, I called him a battered housewife. That's what he is. He he all he knows how to do is atone for his sins and implicate everybody around him who shares his demographics in his sin. When uh, when Steve Shives bring you know has. Me and AIU agreeing with each other, you know he done fucked up. AIU actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't. It's not like I. I whatever. He, uh, AIU and I, uh, you know, yeah, got well, I, on the wrong foot and it's pretty much stayed that way. But yeah, it's well, not. He, it's he not actually, like he, I'm. Uh, he likes you. Neither of us have gone out of our way our way to make videos about each other. So there's that, I guess. Yeah, I, that always does something. <clears throat> but he, but he actually uh, he he invited me to Germany. He said he would you know show me around and everything. I said only if only if Cucktopus could come. Oh and, Jesus and Christ! And, and he he said he's like you know that's he's like uh you know he's like I know I know he's a nice guy and everything he's like a lot of these guys are they're really nice guys he's just I just you know I just think they're wrong. Yeah, that's, I that's and I mean. and uh, I I can I can agree to disagree. I don't I don't know he, some of his some of AIU's blocking policies kind of get on my nerves uh, too. Although I I can see where he's doing it more out of entertainment than out of fear, like Steve Shives is. Like I can see that that difference, okay, but it's still I think it's a little bit out of uh, I don't know out of control. I don't I don't do that kind of shit. Uh, I try really hard not to do that kind of shit on my channel. Like you have to really be spamming or a complete fucking retard to get blocked on my channel. Hey, oh, let's let's read this. Here we go. Who wants to read it? Um, oh my god. Yeah, this is what I, I tweeted this to Dark Matter. So and, and this guy, this guy fancies himself a writer, a writer. He starts out with so, period. Here's the thing, period. What the fuck, dude? <sighs> so you want me to read it? Here I'll do it. So here's the thing: the world is often a shitty place, and it's mostly our fault. See that? <laughs> what an yeah. asshole! Just, Go fuck yourself. You gotta, you gotta remember the context of this. This is in response to a dude who like pledges allegiance to ISIS and murders gay people. And Even if yeah. he did do the pledging allegiance to ISIS like, thing, Jesus. like it's still not our fault well, that saying, fucking nutballs right, do this shit. I'm, I'm saying just just remember because it comes into play. This oh, is okay. this is or, this is like the ultimate victim blaming, and he's seen as the progressive. It's unfucking believable. Yeah. This is prog this is progressive. Go ahead. So he says, I've ranted and raved and cried and shouted and wrung my hands over America's gun problem, as have oh, thoughtless others, in response to past events like the pulse shooting, and it hasn't done any good because there are still too many of us who won't even admit that there's a problem. I don't know what to do. I don't <laughs> even know what I would do if uh, it were within my power to do something. Jesus, okay, so who would have thought that babies throwing tantrums wouldn't get shit done i'm fucking flabbergasted he, what, what did he say actually he's raised he's, he's raved and rave. cried and shouted and wrung his hands. his hands okay yeah that didn't get anything done you you, you, you you're, you're kidding you mean that didn't work wow I, I guess technically all we're doing is like ranting and raving and shit like yeah but it's yeah, steve shives saying but, but, i mean but try shouting or wringing our fucking hands <clears throat> but but i the things that i i've come up with the solutions that that i'm talking about are or that i'm pretty sure we're all talking about uh which is don't first of all if you're on the fbi fucking uh been being investigated by the fbi twice over some terrorism shit that it should be a little bit harder for you to get a fucking AR-15. It it seems to me that uh, dude, if if you're under if you were I, I don't even know much about like what the guy was under investigation for, but if it seems to me if you're under investigation from the FBI, that should at least pop up as like okay, red flag. I mean, yeah, where, it, wasn't there like means, an epic they, they put him on the down. no flight list, but on, not on the no gun list. <clears throat> I'm saying whether, whether that means you can absolutely never obtain a firearm because you're on that. I'm just saying, like, I mean, that should at least just be like, wait a minute, why? Like, what what happened? Should be alerted. Nobody was alerted that this guy had fucking purchased a firearm. 
Like, even though he had been under investigation. I understand the investigation didn't produce any charges, but it was enough to be investigated that is, is enough to be put on the no-fly list for a lot of people. Um, I don't know much about this, but apparently there was... Hillary said something like to that effect that uh, this guy shouldn't have been allowed to buy a gun if he was under investigation by the FBI and someone shot back, you shouldn't be allowed to run for president if you're under investigation for the FBI. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely <laughs> fucking genius. But <laughs> I, look, I'm not ignoring the, the problem that this guy uh, like claimed allegiance to ISIS or on the 911 call. Like This is... It's a mass shooting slash terrorist attack, <clears throat> largest terrorist attack since 9/11 in the U.S. Uh, I'm not I'm not afraid to say that it's you know uh, is you know Muslim related and Islamic fucking radical dude. Um, he the, the the details are still coming out, but he had he had gone to that club and and said that he was disgusted by what he had seen there. I don't know if he had like gay tendencies or if he was just like getting himself pumped up to do what he was doing. Apparently, also his wife had told him like tried to convince him not to do it. Well, so well, she I don't know about knew. That because, well, yeah, the thing is now I, I and I don't know because I see all this shit and I haven't checked nearly enough of it out to make a decision on it yet. But I mean, it's I, I was hearing that his wife is actually the one that dropped him off. I don't want to spread misinformation, but I was just hearing that today. I, I don't. She she just fans, be charged. I think is well, some of the pictures I saw they like they were showing the van he arrived in was still there, so he didn't, I don't think he got dropped like off. I'm saying I, I see so much shit that it's just like man it becomes like hard to like unless it's from like a major news source that has like a reputation of just being like even if they're biased at least they have a reputation of just like not just flat out lying. So, so with that, let's let's imagine that you didn't have the video evidence of Rick Scott saying like, "All we the most important thing is to pray," and you just read, uh, you just heard it from a bunch of other atheists that like there's only solution was prayer, 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 prayer. Like, would you have believed it? Because I know yeah. I, would. I, I, I might not have. I mean, when I say I would have believed it, I would sort of been really skeptical. If it's not oh, like yeah. I can, if I can't actually watch a video of it, I'm much more skeptical, of course, than I would be. Mm. Yeah, vi video definitely fucking helps. I, I agree. I agree there. But uh, let me let me see if we can't finish this. All I know is I live in a country that boasts of being the best, most powerful, most free, most wealthy in the world. And despite all our greatness and power and freedom and wealth, we are completely impotent to solve problems that have plagued us for as long as any of us can remember. We'd rather pat ourselves on the back for how much progress we've made than admit that this is still a viciously homophobic and transphobic culture. Um, that okay, um, you know what? What? I'm, I'm as, sorry, far, I'm... as far as this culture goes, um, gay people and trans people, uh, for the most part, don't have to worry about being sentenced to death. Uh, they certainly now don't. in this case, obviously they were horrifically murdered, but it wasn't you know sanctioned by any powers that be. Absolutely. It was by some fucking a psychotic asshole. If this um, was and, by the culture, this would not. It wouldn't be illegal, or there would be laws like less protective or like less harsher punishments for people that did this kind of shit. That is not. That is not the case. We have very strict punishments for anyone doing any of this kind of shit. In fact, we also have like hate crime laws where if you do it just for a reason like this, that you would be charged with that. that it, it, it's, exactly. And here's the difference between the, the Christian homophobia and the, and the Muslim homophobia is in this country, you get bullshit with bathrooms and marriage, which is bullshit. Don't get me wrong. I hate that shit. Yeah, baking cakes. But at least you still get to fucking breathe. Right. It's pretty funny because like a week ago, everyone was hating on gay people for freaking and what I tell you, bathrooms. And now this week, everyone's loving on gay people for being shot up. Well, it, it depends. It depends, man, because this is uh, dude, I, uh, this is how insane this shit has gotten, man. I well, you, you got to remember, I'm I'm in Flor I'm in Orlando, right, so right. like everything I'm hearing is like ble like just that prayer shit that our hearts are with you, um, you know. Yeah. You even heard Rick Scott in there say like, "Well, we really hoped something like this wouldn't happen." I'm like, <laughs> uh, but but no, every time they asked him like, "Is there something you can do policy wise to 
prevent this from happening again? He's like, well, th- now is the time just to, you know, pray. Yeah. And if, if they could fucking, if, if people could dodge bullets the way Rick Scott dodged fucking questions, everyone would be a fuck of a lot safer, put it that way. Well, well uh, like I was saying, I, I watched a, a Pat Robertson video earlier where I watched like the first like two minutes of it or whatever, but I was in 100% agreement with Pat Robertson. That is how fucking retarded this shit is. Where he was talking about, you know, like, for instance, the liberals, he even says like the progressives or the self-proclaimed progressives or whatever. Like, this is this is where it falls like like these the muslims and the gays are both like a they're like a prog- like a protected class for progressives right but the thing is this puts them in a conundrum because it was one group killing or one guy from a group killing another group mm-hmm. so it puts them at a conflict of like well, well where do we choose like the the, the popular picture where it's the guy that is all over Twitter and Facebook and shit. The guy he's got two buttons to push and he's over there like wiping his sweat off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah, like that picture. It's it's, dude, it's, it's Islamophobia or homophobia. Yeah, which one do you want to be accused and, of? And just like he says here, we'd rather pat ourselves on the back for how much progress we made than admit this is still a viciously homophobic and transphobic culture. So he, right, right, what Steve's doing here is blaming for instance our culture when if you right. look if you I'm sorry man, if you if you look around the world and you I mean, the, the guy. The guy was American. It, uh, uh, very fine. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'm. I'm just. I'm putting it out there, like so. But it, if it was American cultures that caused this, then why isn't there, you know, more gay, exactly. massive gay shootings? Exactly. Right, and and that's the thing is, like, if St- Steve wants to turn this away from, you know, like the that's why I said earlier the uh, Islam angle. Dude, there are ten countries. 10 or 11 countries in the world that you get the death penalty for being gay and they are all Islamic. You will not hear that shit from Steve Shives. Why? Because it's, that is does not it fit in absolutely, that absolutely should be addressed. Look, Islam is uh, shit. Um, the, the base tenets of it are terrible. Um, quite honestly, I, I find it's... Um, like their holy book is right up there with the Bible. It's just that Christians have not been allowed to take their Bible to the extremes anymore. And I think the same should be done with Islamic countries. I don't think we should be fucking allies with Saudi Saudi Arabia if we're going to talk about how terrible fucking uh, you know Islam is. And they're because they fucking they're beheading people over like drugs and shit like that. Well, this is this is what Dark Matter was saying earlier. Uh, it kind of alluded to this. Like uh, Crouton T had a video where he talked about this. Is like. Uh, you know, the American evangelicals, as many, as many problems as we have with them, you know, it's like their mentality is to pray the gay away. Well, in Islamic societies around the world, their policy is to, like, hang the gay away. Mm-hmm. And Flay murder, the gay away. Yeah, it, like, seriously, mm-hmm. like, like death to to gays and stuff. I mean, the, the only places in the world where you were killed for it, being gay are, are Islamic, as far as, far it's as I It's funny because we're, it seems like we're doing more by calling out uh, these Muslim countries that get away with this shit than Steve Shives will ever do in terms of, uh, you know, and that, that goes for feminism too, by the way. They're sitting here bitching about fucking asses in video games and, and bitches are being forced to cover up head to toe in other countries as part of their fucking religious law and they love to ignore that you're absolutely right uh, let, it, let me see if i can't get through this fucking I, I read the next part and i already have something i want to say to it well all right uh we'd rather blame the religion of the shooter because his religion seems foreign even though muslims have been a part of the united states since the very beginning and that makes him uh an other and if we can make him an other then we can uh tell ourselves but it's not really our problem. So much bullshit packed into one sentence. We uh, blame. We're, we're, we do blame the shooter first of all, Shives. Also, uh, you don't blame the religion just because it seems foreign. What kind of bullshit straw man is that? That's such bullshit. Right. We're not out there parading against B- Buddhism or Hinduism. Those are foreign too. No, it's the deliberate treatment of gay people that happens in islamic culture that is condoned that is encouraged that is codified that is part of their laws even in in many of their countries that that is the the reason that we 
blame uh, their religion for things, not just their religion, but their political ideology that's entwined with their religion, mixing politics and religion. You're an atheist, right, Steve? You're an American, right, Steve? You believe in the First Amendment, right, Steve? You're supposed to be against shit like that, right, Steve? And here you are, fucking apologizing for it with this bullshit. This is just bullshit. And you say we do it because... We want to other them so that we can tell ourselves it's not really our problem. What? People are dead, Steve, on our home soil, Steve. Friends and family, Steve. Gay people who are also a, a, an oppressed minority are dead. And that is our fucking problem. Nobody's saying it's not. That's why we're pissed off about it. Because it is our problem. Boom. Dude, I'm sorry you saw me smiling and laughing during some of that, and it was because I looked down, because I usually just listen to you, but I looked down and Steve Shives looked like he was really taking all of that in as your <laughs> business, man. Uh, bravo. That, that, that uh, was, totally fucking agree. That was the like outward vocalization of what goes on in my mind when I'm reading like like the mainstream left the reaction to... All this shit and the shit in Paris and the shit in Brussels, the shit in Chattanooga, the shit in San Bernardino. The shit, the, the shit I guess I guess another thing is that, like, however, like, like, when it comes to if you even bring up guns, then they call you like a, a far leftist when you're talking about this shit. I've seen that happen, too, which I think is bullshit. Like, you should be able to discuss things without fucking being labeled immediately. Oh, oh, perhaps. oh, oh, oh uh, I was called an, an SJW yesterday <laughs> oh like, shit like, that's like, mul it. like multiple times uh, dude if you're calling me an sjw like jesus fucking christ i'm an sjw because i i i said i i, I did a tweet and it was pretty much like uh the left's reaction you now this had nothing to do with religion the right's reaction if only the gays stumbling out of the bar drunk at 2 a.m would have had their pistols on their hips and i was like you know my reaction is just like a plain face or whatever oh my god <laughs> dude USJW faggot piece of shit. Don't you know you have the right to defend yourself? What, does crime only happen between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m.? I'm like, D dude, no, dude. It's You're you're drunk. We understand as a society that drinking impairs your judgment, right? It, there's have, actually four oh, states where oh. having a loaded gun in a bar is legal. It's like Tennessee, Georgia, and like a couple others I can't remember. But you, Florida you and 46 other fucking states... There's, it's illegal to have a fucking loaded gun. By the way, there was three off-duty police officers doing security at that fucking club that exchanged gunfire with the fucking gunman, like, as he was beginning this fucking bullshit. And he had a fucking AR-15 that he yeah, legally acquired and was easily able to mow them the fuck down. And, and the thing is, man, if, if you were going to make the argument, for instance, for a concealed carry in, in public places and stuff like that... I, I can that that argument is entirely separate from like these dudes dancing and drinking all night in a bar closing the bar down. It's two a.m. That was when the bar closes and they're forced to leave. If you're saying that like you're you're advocating that like all the bars should be around when people are doing stuff like that. By the way, one addition is people like having guns on their hips and stuff like that is just to me that that seems that that's what makes a lot of the like hardcore pro gun guys unreasonable and, absolutely and, and, and i and, saw and that, and that posts on facebook because i'm here in orlando so I've, I've seen all kinds of shit i've seen like the problem wasn't the one guy with the gun it was the 103 because they included the one guy because there's 49 victims and then the gunman that died so the 50 includes the fucking gunman and then 53 people were injured so they included the gunman in their total but the problem was the 103 that didn't have a gun and I'm sitting there thinking, like, so the I, the idea here is to arm all the drunk people in a dark nightclub, and then when one person opens fire, everyone, like, I, I see it playing out in my head. The guy comes in, opens fire. Someone else pulls out their gun and starts firing at him. A third person doesn't see the first shooter, only the second shooter pulling out their gun and firing and fires upon them. And then it's just a complete fucking clusterfuck. If, if everyone has a fucking gun... You know damn well that, that people, even with a driver's license, people drive retarded. And you don't even need a fucking license? No. Well, and they, uh, the, the argument that I kept getting is that driving is, 
is a privilege and owning a firearm is a right. I was like, yeah, but if the thing is, if if you're saying that you have a right to get pissed drunk and yep. keep a gun on you and stuff no, like that, it's also a privilege because you lose it if you're a felon. Right, and you you what what you do is you if you if you want to get pissed drunk and carry a firearm and you're that worried about you know public safety and stuff like that, stay home. I'm sorry, man. If you're going out into public with with a gun on your hip. The options are either don't drink or don't carry the gun. You have to understand as a society that we're not going to just let drunk people run around with fucking guns on, man. This, for the same reason, you don't let people drive because drinking impairs your judgment. Drew, you're you're not counting in the prayer factor, all right? Oh, the prayer factor. If you just pray and have your gun, nothing bad ever going to happen. Ever, ever, ever. Then that, And that's like, it, it is the dumbest idea that the more... The more people you have firing weapons, the safer we all are. <laughs> that is so counter fucking intuitive. Yeah. And, uh, anyway, and I'm not I'm not trying to take away your guns. Just prove to me you're not being investigated by the FBI. You're not a complete nutball. You don't have a fucking record. You're you're not an abusive motherfucker. And and you know you don't have. He's been reported as he works security and got reported at work for being like extremely fucking like homophobic and using slurs constantly yeah. and shit like that. No 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 mention. No nothing. Just go ahead. Here's an AR-15 and a fuckload of fucking ammo. Because he shot. There was 50, including himself, killed. Uh, so it's 49 and 53 injured. And some people took like 12 bullets. So you know that he was fucking just reloading and reloading and reloading and reloading. Yeah. Just mm. disgusting well, to fucking think about. The, and well, it's, the, it's, the thing is, because we gotta, we're gonna close up here. Um, there's, <laughs> that's the. Oh my god! It keeps going oh, and going yeah, yeah, and going. Yeah. And note, please save your pro-gun and or anti-Islam apologetics for somewhere else. I'm not interested. All I'm interested in is the fucking. What I want to say, and if you disagree, fuck off. My apologetics, my mm -hmm. dude. This well, is well, this is the, what gave a bad name to fucking progressives is shit like this. It used to be something respectable. Listen to this. We'll blame Islam. We'll blame mental illness. We'll blame everything except our guns, which we clutch tighter to our own children, tighter than our own children in the wake of events like this. Our bigotry, which we profess to abhor but continue to tacitly condone, our or ourselves. I try to do better, but I've been guilty of every shitty behavior I've mentioned in this, whatever this is. So this is the self-deprecation that makes it okay to vilify people. And a hundred others I haven't mentioned. And I dare say, so have many of you. As a society, we still won't allow ourselves to admit that these are our problems resulting from, all right, here's this, get this, resulting from our attitudes, our prejudices, our short-sightedness, our refusal to respect res accept responsibility. This is from. It's our fault, guys. Dude, that's, we're to we're to blame for this guy going fucking bonkers and shooting fifty, or uh, killing fifty people. It's the the hallmark, like Gad said, had had coined this a, wh a while back. The hallmark of a regressive is self flagellation. That's exactly yeah. what it is. It's always you know it's fucking whipping the back and it's always oh god damn it you know we we. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. It's like no, dude. There's like it, like here, the hardcore evangelicals are they're holding signs. They're holding signs saying you're you're going to go to hell. The, they're not you know, murdering it's, it's, people. Jesus. There are things that uh, we as a society are somewhat guilty of, but shit like this at, in today's day and age is not fucking one of them. And to try and pretend like like it is uh, really takes away from from the the kind of shit. Like this that is the norm? maybe society would actually be guilty of Jesus things like ignoring Christ. the fucking the poor and shit like that. But dude, it's it's another it's another reason to say, Steve, by all means, go visit a Middle Eastern country. Go to Saudi Arabia. Visit. Okay, just do it, dude. Dude, try not to throw up in your mouth. But I'm gonna read this. We fuck ourselves. We fuck the poor. We fuck black folks and other people of color. We fuck women, well, hopefully. We fuck LGBTQ folks. We fuck people who identify with the wrong religion. We fuck immigrants. We fuck people with disabilities. We fuck neuroatypical people. That's his word for stupid people, by the way, if you need translation. <laughs> and then we blame them. 
when they complain about getting fucked. We, we suck. suck. That is that is regressive mentality in like a fucking like a Hallmark card of regressive mentality. We that s- is suck. the only thing. Oh, that holy I, fuck! That whole thing was about how well we kind of fuck the poor. Because there there are a lot of fucking uh, a lot of people that that work full time and are still like dirt fucking poor. But who was he talking about when he says we? That's what I want to know because well, obviously you, know, you and me and Drew. He's directly addressing us right here. He says we fuck the poor. Well, you know, half the people are poor. So who are you talking about when you say we? Yeah, the poor fuck the poor too. You you have to remember that. Oh, okay, that's true. I heard someone say that uh, they, this is that a lot of this. I, I guess this would apply to just the the race thing, but it's a tone for your skin. <laughs> I thought that was kind of clever. The, am I the only one that gets a kick out of the fact that he'll say "fuck" over and over and over and over and over and over and over, but then when it gets the time to say "stupid," he won't say it. He says "neuroatypical." <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, like you. The what most, the fuck? He's like, fuck, most... fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, also, I can't stupid, neuroatypical. Dude, that is... Also, I saw someone that's much um, more informed than Steve uh, have about five, and, and this, they were being serious. They weren't being, you know, joking around anything. They had about five more letters, no joke, five more letters tacked onto that LGBTQ. So Steve is fucking over a lot of people there. Oh, yeah, he left out. That there was like an R and an L and an oh, S and a T. Oh God, it's it's like R- the R L R L N S T. Was it E? Yeah, it was the Wheel of Fortune letters and then a plus sign at the end. Plus, yeah, there has to be a plus because there's going to be more letters. Exactly. You're going to have to learn a new alphabet in order to not be offensive. Why don't they just adopt like that? Um, the that sign where it's like it's the about equal to it's like the equal sign with the wavy sign in it Just yeah like that, make everything easier is that what you mean? Huh? the approximately yeah, yeah. like it's, it's just an equal sign with a little wave in it anyway um, it's, it's, just come up with a word <laughs> come on we gotta we gotta do a last nerve man i know <laughs> it's late was, you're not done yet no <laughs> Jesus. We, have, we have to have uh that was bad but we actually have to, we, like, we put those people through that so we can at least entertain them with a fucking last nerve or something. Um, Ralph Reed told me the other day, he said, you know, it's like this. Uh, we actually have two branches of government at stake in this election, don't we? Whoever, uh, uh, so the courts are. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? He's, he's Republican. Look at He's got the Pat Robertson ears. He's a Republican representative from Alabama. Republican Sounds Jeff Sessions. Right. Look at his ears. He's totally got the Pat Robertson ears. At risk here, too. I was a ranking Republican on the Judiciary Committee, and it fell my lot to uh, handle, uh, lead the Republican views on the confirmation of two highly accomplished uh, uh, women uh, up to the Supreme Court. He uh, 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 had to remember yep. what they were. What do, you, what do you call them things without peni? Vaginas again. <laughs> oh, women, women, yeah. This this guy was the fucking head of some fucking committee? God damn it, man. Not our best to do the job with integrity, uh, with fairness, uh, but with rigor. And I felt, like so many of you, the court hasn't been performing in a way we like it to. So what is at stake here? And we had a lot of complaints and a lot of issues that were raised, but I wanted to share one with you that I think defines who we are and defines the challenges we face. And it's something that you in this room uh, need to understand and and really kind of commit ourselves. (laughs) No one listening. Nobody gives a rat's ass. By the way, this would be technically a room full of neuroatypical people. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, I don't know. That one guy is, I think he's uh, uh, browsing porn on his laptop. He is. Then there's a guy over there with like a, he's got the thing of popcorn with the hole cut in the bottom and his dick sticking through it. He's trying to get a girl to take a handful. He said, oh, yeah. The guy right in the middle is an angel. Look at him all white and lit up. I don't even, we're going to assume that's a guy because there's yeah. barely any boobs. 
to being successful on. Justice Sotomayor, uh, we found, and she had given a number of speeches over a decade in which she discussed uh, the court and, and the philosophy of ruling. She quoted a, uh, a philosophy. You, <laughs> Drew's, Drew's trying to fucking put us to sleep. What the uh, fuck that's, is this? That's how I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on it. It's a legal writer uh, in this way, and, and she favorably quoted him. And, and the, uh, she would always say, there is no neutrality. Quote, no objective stance, but a series of perspectives. That still makes a hair stand up on the back of my neck. Why? Why? That's so, that's so dull. Jesus Christ. This is so bad. A judge to say there is no objectivity, just a series of perspectives. And that the aspiration to Im impartiality... Uh, he's horrified. Is okay. Just that, an aspiration. You see, this is a postmodern, relativistic, uh, secular mindset. And I mm. believe it's directly contrary to the founding of our republic. So I really think uh, this... That a, that a secular mindset is contrary to the founding of our republic. Yeah, man. That's why. That's why they claim all the founding fathers were Christian, and that's why they were so Christian that, and then so dipshit and uh, neuroatypical like this guy, <laughs> that they fucking decided not to make it a fucking Christian country. That decided to fucking make it a secular government. Be be, fa be fair, TJ. You're going to start using that all the time now. Aren't oh, you? now I am. Neuro yeah. Neuroatypical. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd have to be neuroatypical not to. <laughs> <laughs> whole court system is really important and the real value and battle that we're engaged in here is one to uh, reaffirm that there is objective truth it's not all relative citation please uh, what <laughs> objective truth like you're going to trust this guy with telling you what is objective truth he couldn't even get this speech out he fucking mumbles more than obama uh well wait a minute <clears throat> Uh, 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 women. <laughs> fucking moron. And that means some things are right and some things are wrong. And uh, we're getting too far away from that, in my opinion. It's not healthy for any country, and it's really not healthy for democracy. No, it's really not healthy for any country or not healthy for democracy is where you think the right and wrong comes from. That's yep. exactly what I was going to say. Yes, I, I don't have any problem with believing there's right and wrong. Just as long as you're not the one deciding what it is, fuckface. As long as it's as long as it is open for us to critique. As long as it's not like no, 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 it's done, set in stone. This is what's yeah, right and wrong. As long I as don't need someone like you to crack open your Bible and say, oh, there it is, right and wrong. Your interpretation of it, especially, because you seem like a complete. <sighs> Neuroatypical douchebag. <laughs> oh, <that's TJ. laughs> you need to get a shirt. The, 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 the shirt. problem with that guy is that he thinks he's immune from relativistic thought. He thinks he's he he, he has a good beat exactly on what's right and wrong, so he's not going to question it. But in reality, are he you might be. About, are you talking about Senator Jeff Sessions or Steve Shives? Because I'm having a hard time telling. Uh, probably both. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. They, they really think they have that handle on the truth and how shit is. It's, uh, whatever. I, I like to, I like to think that I'm more open minded than that. And that, that you, I have to be very well versed in something for me to hold like a really solid, uh, like unmovable opinion about it. And I like to think of myself open minded enough to actually take in, uh, criticism and shit like that and use it to my benefit to either strengthen my arguments or change them uh in order to properly deal with those criticisms it's the logical fucking thing to do anyway that's the fucking show guys hope you enjoyed it dark matter thank you again for showing up we always enjoy having you enjoyed your little uh steep chives rant there <clears throat> i enjoy being here of course of course you did it's with me <laughs> It's truly a privilege for you to be here with us. Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Drew, awesome show. Everybody, thank you for showing up. We love you all, but the patrons more. Uh, if you are a patron, keep watch of your messages on Patreon for an up, uh, you know, a message letting you know when the first patron only show will be. It'll be coming up soon. Um, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And we will see the rest <laughs> of you next Tuesday. <clears throat> Later. Oh, can I ask you something after you go off the air? Dude, way to ruin that shit. Damn. Ah, damn. Dark matter. What? How did I ruin what? Bad form. <sighs> they, I just did a whole fucking outro. Perfect. And you just fucking... Can't like, you just cut it off? On it. No, it's over now. What about it's some magician perfect. that can just cut things? All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll end it up for you. I'll end it up for you. Da 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 da. Good night, everybody. Have a good night and drive home safe. It's been a pleasure to do the show for you. 